All right, are we live? Are we? I think so. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live from our studio here in sunny Florida. It's not really sunny right now, though. It's kind of dark. Yeah. It's Thanks, daylight savings it's a little time. Chilly. It is a little chilly, too. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice out. Uh, but first off, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And uh, this is Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, where we do an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster, where you guys at home control one of the characters uh, through a bunch of random chat commands, as well as voting on the decisions to make. Uh, but so what happened last time on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, Josh? Uh, last time we fought a level two white lion and we beat him up. Um, we did. We beat him up really good. Yeah. Although we did have a salt zombie, didn't we? Yeah, the, he was kind of running around in the corner. He he lost all his movement. Like that was kind of crippled. Kind of your fault for not giving Twitch any armor. Um, they wanted to play bow. Does Twitch still want to play bow? That is a good question. So you can. Why don't you close out this poll here? Okay. And uh, this is going to be for what we are fighting this evening. It looks like we're going to be fighting the Sunstalker. Yep. Uh, but Josh is going to put up a new poll in just a second. Let's just be yes or no poll on whether or not you guys want to use the bow. Um. If you want to continue on with the range characters, did that gear grid get altered at all, Josh? Um, it will be. I wanted to show off what we, some of the prep that we did for the. Uh... Also, easy saying riveting recap, Josh. I know. Just... Whip. They want to use the whip. I don't have a whip. No one wants to use the whip. All right, so let's go over the gear grids a little bit then. Well, so oh, I want wait. to talk about what we did. Oh, okay. Fine. Off stream. What did you do off stream, Josh? Besides okay. dance like this, you did this for like three hours. He just sat here and did this. That. Twist Gaming, the white box you guys sent me arrived yesterday. Awesome. Awesome. Did you open Wait, does it say not to open it? Was Zeftis' one the one that says don't open me? I don't know. That was a dice that the RX got, I think. Ah. Oh. So what did we make off screen? So first off, I know a bunch of people in chat were uh, clamoring for it, but we made the Clawhead Arrow. So in case you don't know, the Clawhead Arrow is a one-time use uh, per showdown. Uh, weapon that you need the bow to use. It is a one speed, six plus accuracy, six strength weapon. Uh, and it has slow. So it's only going to be one speed, unless you're frenzied. Uh, and you. Um, frenzied only. Oh, that's on, right. Uh, Fred, melee frenzied gear. only melee. So it's only going to be one shot. But if you hit the monster with it, not wound, hit, yeah. the monster gains a minus one evasion token. So that's pretty solid right there. Uh, then Josh also made the Whisker Harp, and I see Darkened Creeper asking to see the Sunstalker model. We'll switch over to the board cam in just a minute, and you'll see the Sunstalker. Uh, we've got the Whisker Harp, which is on arrival. All survivors gain a survival. Nice. Yeah. nice. Solid. But, uh, it's got an activation that says Strum. Roll a d10 on the result of 6+, plus. discard one mood card currently in play. And that could be very, very, very beneficial. Yes, uh, especially for Nemesis fights. Nemesis. 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 Uh, so then we've got the Dried Acanthus, the old favorite. Uh, so when you depart, gain two survival. When you suffer severe injury, ignore it and archive this card. Uh, then we made some Blood Paint. Blood Paint doesn't come in a jar. Blood Paint comes from who you are. Uh, no, this is an activation of activate weapon gear to the left and right of this card. They are two separate attacks, cannot be used with two-handed weapons. So you can use this for non-paired weapons. Yep. So, for example, you could use a Katar and some Bone Darts. Yeah. Or you could use it on what, Josh? What do you plan on using it with? Um, I don't think we have anything set up yet for it. But it's nice. But it would work with the Riblade. It is not a two-handed weapon. Oh, no, it's not. Look at that. I didn't notice that before. Yeah. Uh, are there any special cards that count as moods or any moods only BA AI cards? Or moods only BA AI cards? Um, they're typically only they're in the deck. Um, the cards that come out at the beginning, the S cards, are trait cards. So it doesn't work for that. So when you get rid of the... You can't get rid of a trait, though, right? No, there's no way to so get rid of a trait. So the S cards are usually a trait. If, if you could, though, if you could get rid of it by strumming, when you got rid of it, would you say, look at that S card go? Chat's asking, when a card says archive, does it mean go away forever? It means to go back in the box, to yeah. be pulled later. Or um, you can play Kingdom Death Hard Mode, where you light the card on fire and throw it away. Uh, legacy Mode? Legacy Mode, yeah. Kingdom yes. Death Legacy, where it says archive, you literally throw it into a paper shredder. Uh... But no, uh, there's a couple like things where you say archive something and it kind of goes on the side till the end of the showdown, till the end of the settlement phase. Yeah. But yeah, for the most part. <laughs> I'm glad that you and I have the same humor, Scottios. 
Uh, that is also expensive mode, that's true. Uh, so then finally we've got the Screaming Coat. Mind you that these are green affinities on the side here. We're just green screening. Uh, so this is just part of the Screaming Antelope armor we are working towards uh, moving forward with. But it allows you to slam, so spend your movement to full move forward in a straight line. And if you move four plus spaces and stop adjacent to the monster, the monster suffers minus one toughness and knock back one until the end of the round. Wow, what's with the bow hate? Uh, because in t this, typically, the bow has next to no gear, because that's just the way we play. The bow guy is the last to get the gear. Yeah, and I think they also, like, hit in it more than the bow is kind of... It's cumbersome. It's yeah. a little bit, bit harder to uh, do. Yeah. Um, so it looks like you could just close that poll. It's at 93% yeah, yeah, the... to 7%. You know, One person said yes. I wonder who the one person was. Uh, but so that's going to be me playing the bow then. So I'm going to switch up characters. So Twitch is going to probably play as Deftar now, right? Yeah. I'm really jealous. I was a good character. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to get all this fun stuff. At least I'm going to get the, uh, the claw head arrow. Yeah, I have to rearrange my gear grid a little when bit. When it's time to change, you've uh, got to you have rearrange. A... Oh, you gave me a rawhide vest. It's so kind of you. All right. Um, there's some other things. Uh, I made stone circle. The squared circle? Yes. Now, if, if we get the flower bow, I'm taking that. You're not allowed to take it. I Vespertine bow is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> That's my baby. Um, if you've watched the earlier seasons, you would know that. Where's the cat eye circle? Uh, you didn't show it. You didn't give it to me. It's Just gone I forever. It, it's I... forever calzoned. Time for me to roll many times. R.I.P. in peace. <laughs> At Exelon, don't roll the whole game. How do you roll the entire game? You just take the, the box and you throw it down like a set of stairs. Uh, so Josh also made the cat eye circlet. So the cat eye circlet's going to allow for some uh, hit location deck manipulation. So you could, as an activation, spend uh, the, an activation and look at the top three hit location cards and reorder them as you see fit. So that's going to go to you. The Vespertine bow does indeed lend itself to people dying horrible deaths. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we made... So we made those. We made those. I made Stone Circle. We still have two Endeavors left. Oh, we do? Yes, we still have two Endeavors. We're probably so going to use one of them to train up whoever you're going to take. Okay, because I'm not taking a zombie. So there's zombie garlic there. Yep. The zombie crocodile dunder. Um, Let's see. Those are probably the two you're going to take. Well, I'm not going to take two. So Twitch is going to play as Daftaru. Yep. Um, You're playing as soon to be dead and hopeful. Yep. So let's see who I've got here. I've got Chuck Founding Stone. I've got the Dung Ball Wizard. I've got Fantasia a broken but back. with a broken back, so I can't use them. Uh, SpongeBob the Hit Eater. Who's unlocking a can crit. Yeah. And doesn't have anything great to begin with. And then Dictionary Pants. He's just his reroll. So I'm going to play as Chuck Founding Stone. Okay. Private Attorney. Chuck Founding Stone. Private Attorney. Uh, I believe Hopeful also got Burning Ambition. Yeah, she got Burning Ambition, so she can now go. Oh, good. Oh, go enjoy Star Wars. I've been hearing a lot of mixed things about it, and please, no one post any spoilers in chat. Just no spoilers. Not that the Millennium Falcon is You're an idiot. a Jedi. I posted that in Discord. Yeah, so that was like that was fun. Like, yeah, fake spoilers. Fake spoilers. Or that fake Ray games. is. That's that's a theory that Ray is Luke's dad. What about Finn? Is really Chewbacca? Yeah. That makes zero sense. <laughs> All right. Um, so if you could use the two endeavors to age me up, I'll get to the oh, first yeah. age. Okay. I've, I've got zero you age. You have zero? So, yeah. yeah, we use the two for that. We'll use two to age me up. I need two D10s to be rolled for the first age, and then I could declare my weapon proficiency. So it okay. kind of allows us to do all the fun stuff. Uh, so I rolled an eight and a seven. That is definitely a fighting art. Fifteen's a fighting art. So yep. chat, you guys are going to be able to pull. This is one of those interactive things we were talking about. Chat, you guys can uh, pull a random fighting art, and these include the uh, the custom ones that we have included from the Stream Element Store. And I'll post a link to that in just a second. But I got lure epilepsy. You couldn't pull me a good one. Once per showdown, you may spend an activation to give yourself a seizure, suffer a random brain trauma, and get knocked down. So lure epilepsy. Yay. Never going to use that. Uh, but just as an over an overview here, guys, uh, here is the link to the Stream Element Store. So you guys can use the points that you're uh, accumulating by every minute that you're watching, as well as throwing bits and cheering us and doing tips. Uh, you can use those to buy things to alter the campaign, such as fighting arts, disorders, 
uh, settlement events. And that's create your own stuff. And we've got a couple added into the game, so we're really excited about that as yep. well. So, one thing we could do is we could spend two organs. So we could spend the screaming brain we have because there's nothing really for the screaming brain. Okay. And the love juice doesn't come in a jar. Um, to try to make the wisdom potion. Ooh, let's do it. Let's do it. I just so I want the wisdom So we need to roll potion. two dice, and we need to get a 13 combined. to an 18. 13 to 18 combined. Combined okay. on two so, dice. Chat, guess what? You guys, we're going to need two d10s to be rolled. We're going to take the first two results after I ask for them here. Uh, let's see. We rolled a 2 and a 9. It's an 11. That's an 11. Not high enough. It's not. We're going to get healing potion, though. We are. So who rolled the one? Who rolled the two? Maelstrom did. It wasn't you, Exelon. Oh boy. So what is the? Uh... Oh, Exelon's the one that pulled the fighting art. I really appreciate that, Exelon. It's okay, Maelstrom. It's not okay. We're judging you. We're not really judging you. Maybe a little bit. Uh, so, Josh, what did we get? We got the healing potion. Yep. Uh, the healing potion, and that is going to be dish one right now. And that is, at the end of the showdown, if you suffered any permanent injuries, you may archive this card and remove one of your choice. It's not a bad card, it's a... All right. So, the... I don't know if it's, like, rules is written, if you want to interpret it this way, but at the end of the showdown, if you suffered any permanent injuries, you may archive this card and remove one of your choice. Yeah. So, if you take someone out with a permanent injury and they suffer another permanent injury, can you remove any permanent injury with the healing potion? It's not the spirit of the card, probably. Probably one of the ones you suffered. That. Yeah. Um, do you want to equip this at all, or? Um, I'll get rid of the stone noses. That's fine. I just. Do I want to get? No, I'll get rid of the bone axe. I don't. I'm not going to use it. Yeah. I'll use this, yeah, because I, I want the survival. Or Survival's nice. Should I put it on, I actually have an open gear grid here. Should I put it here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the, yeah, especially if it's one of the people that's going to be in the middle of the fray. Oh, I do have, or I could take, where's the dry acanthus that I had? I don't know. Where'd you put it? You jerk. Dry acanthus or healing potion? Dry acanthus would be better for you. Then you want this? Yeah, I'll take the healing potion as an emergency backup and I'll get rid of the stone noses. I'm sorry, I'll get rid of the axe. And my axe. Uh, I think there was an FAQ on the healing potion. Uh, if someone could pull that, I don't know. I don't have that answer in front of me. Uh, so, we've used all of our endeavors. Uh, I am writing down bow proficiency for Chuck Founding Stone. What is our departing survival limit? Uh, limit is six. We're going to get two on depart. Two on depart. I'm going to get an additional none. Right? Two from... Oh, okay. So I'm going to get four... You said we get two on depart? Yeah. So I'm going to have four right now. Okay. So two, three, four, five, six. To which you guys max. are going to be up to your max of six. Six. And uh, just so you know, Daftaru stats. Uh, do you... uh, give me a second. Yeah. And we'll, we'll update everyone's. Chuck Founding Stone does sound like an everyman. I like the name. Chuck Founding Stone. He's the, he's the unsung hero of the society, of the settlement. So movement is five. Movement is five for Daftaru. Accuracy is a one. Okay. Uh, strength is also a one. Uh, then we have evasion, which is a one. With gear? I'm sorry, no. With gear, the evasion is a three. Uh, then the... No luck? No, well, no, they do have a lucky weapon. They have a deadly weapon, and they have a luck charm, so it's going to be uh, plus two luck. And then speed would be zero. And their weapon is going to be a one six five. Hey Narf. Wait, why did someone yell unicorn? Unicorn Lonito one eleven, thank you for the follow. So and what's their survival gonna be at? Uh their survival's gonna be at six, maximum of six. They had two, they get two, then they have the dry to canvas, which is gonna give them two more. Okay. Um and their insanity is at? Their insanity is at two. And two armor at each location, right? Uh, yes, they will have two armor at each location because they have oh, the full rawhide armor set. Someone's icon is a unicorn. Who? Oh, was it Narfalik? 
Guys, that means that we've hit the uh, yeah one of the first to transcend. You, we've hit our one year mark. Oh, then for subs, we've hit the. This is the twelfth month they've subbed. Our one year mark will be January fourteenth. Okay, same difference. So you're the first unicorn. <laughs> That's exciting. Now only twelve more months to go until you find out the final level. This isn't even our final form. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks good. It it looks it looks. I thought it was a pale rhino at first. All right, and then what's the monster stats? The monster stats. I don't know what are the monster stats, Josh. Why don't you tell me? Uh, I don't have the book. Hold on. I'm just riffing right now. Oh, I I don't have the book. Period. Is there any way you can get me the book, Josh? The book should be there. Uh, it's not. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. See, you do this to me all the time. First, first time, time watching. watching live. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Lonito. Now, since you say first time watching live, does this mean you've watched VOD before? Because I hope that means yes. Uh, so the monster stats, what do you need first? Um, give me the life. The life. It is going to have 11 health. Okay. 11. So the final form is a hedgehog with a unicorn horn. Movement. 16. I forgot how fast the Sunstalker is. It is ridiculously fast. Uh, then it's going to have a toughness of 10. Okay. So its its toughness is the same as the level 2 White Lion, which it's tough. Uh, zero speed, zero damage. And you don't need to know anything else, right? No, that's it. Okay, cool. So I, I believe think. we are ready to set up the hunt board, right, Josh? <coughs> yeah. So who are you going to be playing as this um, evening? I'm going to play soon to be dead. And, uh, and um, Lonito is saying yes. He's been watching over the YouTubes. Final boss is clearly a Matt and Josh fusion. We'll do the fusion dance when we get there. Right, Josh? Mm -hmm. We've been we've been kind of binge watching Dragon Ball Z. Not really Dragon Ball watching. Super. Super. Same thing. It's it's. Different. I know it's different. It's different. I need the uh, the Sunstalker hunt events. Yeah. Do you, you have the basics? Yeah, I have the basics. Um, there's one character you guys haven't seen yet, so that's that's what 12 is, and I think it shows you when you subscribe what the levels are. Oh, really? I think. The Let's... fusion is done using the tabletop talisman earrings. <laughs> Piggy corn from Kill the Unicorns. A hedgecorn. Everyone's saying a hedgecorn. <laughs> Maybe we'll just change it and make it the hedgecorn Give the, sh the shirt link, and I'll, I'll, we'll make a hedgecorn. That that will be. Oh, we should make a hedge of corn. I think I could do that. Yeah, you can. Let me guess, dragon. I mean, maybe that won't be the final final form. We'll start having to get into the fusions. We're like Super Saiyan onesies, right? And when Twitch like starts expanding it more, like, all right, you got two years now. It's three years, and we'll just have to keep it going. Okay, so I've got the hunt board set up, and you know what that means? We get to do this, like, do the finger wave. You gotta help me. Ooh. There you go. So uh, we've got the hunt board set up. We are fighting a level one Sunstalker. Twitch, you guys are playing as Daftaru. I am playing as Chuck Foundingstone. Josh is playing as Hopel Hopeful and soon to be dead. Uh, and does get a badge. Yeah, yeah. And's awesome. That's so right. the badges are... Badges? In, we don't need no stinking In rarity badges. order of how common the animals are. Yeah, we actually had... This is... We this is had, a discussion. We had, had. A, just like an, a, a long discussion... Uh, about the rarity of the given animals in nature, but yes. we didn't start like it. Actually, we're like, but panda has to be number. Yeah, panda has to be number one, right? Because otherwise, the hedgehog would have been first. Yes. So it it goes the uh, interesting paint job. Oh yeah, so that was done by Mister Fen. Fen is Fen nominal. Fantastic. He does commission work. If you guys like any of the way the minis are painted, you can get your own painted that way. M Jo That's the second time M Jolly's rolled for our one on one. Yeah. First time they rolled a one. Second, Second time, time they rolled, rolled a two. two. Nice. So uh, we're going to do this in the usual order. I'm going to go first. Josh is going to go second and third. And Twitch, you guys are going to go fourth. You might not get to go, but you, we will have you roll for all of the hunt events. That's the way we do things here. So first up, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Are you ready for the spaghetti? Yeah. I don't think you're ready for this sketty. Uh, so this is the dead warrior. The survivors stop a man's length away from a one-handed skeleton clad in ancient rusted armor. Do we have pictographs? Nope. We don't? I thought we did. Nope. Nope, we don't. Oh. 
So we have to roll a random hunt event. Where is Theft Horror? Oh, shoot. So, uh, random hunt event. So, chat, can you please roll a D101? And we're going to get a hunt event there. So, some they got 100. Exxon rolled 100. Okay. Um, Matt, can you um, update the uh, crest? Uh, yes, I can. Exxon, I can't believe you actually rolled 100. Oh, I love that you... Ah! I love that you added that in. Sorry for screaming in your ears there, chat. RIP and peace your ears. Oh, yeah, he rolled a one with extra zeros. That's what it was. All right, so what is a 100, Josh? Um, that's the Cyclops Knight. It's the finale. It's the finally. This is new. Uh, an enormous metallic sound... Metallic. Oh, God. An enormous metallic sound rings out from the distance. All survivors are electrified with dread. They suffer two brain event damage. So I am going to be having my brain box checked already. So, Josh, can you do two brain event damage to Twitch? Uh, in just a second. In just a second. And uh, I'm just going to check my armor here super duper quickly. So I'm going to have one to the waist and one to the body. All right. Uh, good thing none of us has understanding. Uh, the survivors may follow the sound. Otherwise, they panic and retreat in the opposite direction. End this event and move the survivors two spaces back on the board. Do we want to move forward towards the sound, Josh? Can we? I, it doesn't say anything. It just says the survivors may follow the sound. Otherwise, they right, panic and retreat in the opposite direction, and the event move two spaces backwards. I think we're going to follow, right? I think that we should go for it. I mean, no? I'm going to say that we follow. What do you think, Josh? Sure. Follow it. Okay. Move towards the sound. Okay, everyone wants to follow it. Uh, thank you, Lonito. 111. Uh, we are again. That's another sub closer to the giveaway. We are at what 180 now. So we are 20 subs away from the 200 sub giveaway. Uh, each survivor gains plus one courage. So Daftaru is now one courage away, which means that uh, guaranteed by the end of this fight, as long as she doesn't die, yeah. Daftaru is going to get max courage. All right, hopefuls two. And I've got one. Um. We get one courage and gingerly approach the sound's origin. As they travel, they pass the shattered corpses of strange beasts. Does any survivor have three-plus understanding? Nope. Um, we harvest three random basic resources from the corpse and end this event. Nice. That's kind of cool. Does Daph have a dried acanthus? I hope. Yes, she yes. does. Yes, she does. She has a dried acanthus. Yeah. Does she, wait, does she? Yes. Yeah. Yes, she does. Purple room. I didn't Purple even open the door. All right, so we're going to get the monster bone. We're going to get a broken lantern. And we're going to get a monster hide. All right, so we end the event. That's it. All right. So now we're going to go... So, Josh, this one's you. Uh, which is your first character? Soon to be dead. Well, Soon I should put a, to be should dead. put up a contest for everyone. Uh, oh, this dream is about me. It's the Salted Dream. The Salted Dream. The event revealer happens upon an entirely... Uh, an entity busily sculpting with white ash. It pauses, opening its maw to flash its work with light. Suddenly realizing they are dreaming, the event revealer may wake up or continue the dream. Joshua... Would you like to wake up or continue the dream? Joshua. Josh, jo jo uh, Joshua. I'm looking. Joshua. I, I, think you should wait. I think you should continue the dream. Personally. Sure, I'll, I'll do it. Are you gonna You're going to continue the dream? So yeah, you need I'll to roll sleeping. a d10, please. It's a four. The entity notices you and attacks. If you have less than five courage... I have less than five courage. Uh, you suffer three brain damage and wake up. Okay. You've woken up. All right. So that's the end of that event. What is your next character, Josh? Uh, hopeful. Hopeful. So, Hopeful, uh, you got Heliophobia. Or as Josh would say... What's that say, Josh? Heliophobia? Eh, close enough. Uh, you begin to think about hunting the sun. If a survivor has the emotionless disorder, does anyone have emotionless? Nope. They have a very logical discussion with you and end the event. 
Otherwise, you are overwhelmed in panic. Gain two insanity as you spend a painfully long time curled up in a tiny ball, denying everything. Move the Sunstalker two spaces away from the survivors as you waste time. So he's going to go ba-doop, ba-doop. So he is now on the overwhelming darkness space. So if he moves any further, might have some issues there. So we're gaining two insanity, though. Yeah, you're gaining two insanity. Uh, so then they're going to go ba-doop, 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 ba-doop. But so that means that Twitch, it's now your turn. Did oh, you I did not. One, two, three. I didn't put a, a thing under the monsters. That should be a random hunt event. So Twitch, you guys are going to roll a D100. It just says the event revealer. Oh, just the event revealer? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so chat, please roll a D101. Let's see what you get. They rolled an 81. Is that correct? An 81. Yes, an 81. So what's an 81, Josh? Please roll a 101. No, they rolled a 71. Then they roll an 81? Merrick's Bob. Oh, oh, jeez. 71. 71. Josh, what's a 71? You do this every time. I don't know. I know. I have to ask. So you found a relic. Uh, amidst the endless stone faces, the event revealer notices an unusual object on the ground. The event revealer, in revealer investigates and rolls a d10. So chat, need you to roll a d10? We do not have records, so we are not adding six. And you rolled a one. You find a weathered purple stone with swirling texture. Oh, we did this before, didn't we? Mm -hmm. It is shockingly heavy. Mesmerized by the stone, you hide it from the other survivors. Gain the secret of disorder and minus one movement token from lugging the stone around. But they already have that? They already do have the secret of disorder. No, I'm sorry. That was the... Oh, they have hoarder. That was the other survivor that they had. I was hopeful I got this. So uh, they have secretive. And so secretive is they must skip the next hunt whenever they return from a hunt. Yep. And you've got a minus one movement token as well. So, chat, you're going to be doing four movement now. We get to get rid of one token at the beginning of the fight. Because so we have Song of the Brave. Yeah. One negative status one token. One negative token. Uh, so, chat, that was you guys doing your random hunt event. Congratulations. You got a purple stone. Uh, so, now it is back to me. So, I am going to grab the hunt event card. And uh, look at that. Another random hunt event. So, chat, can you please roll another D101? Roll a 54. 54. Josh, what's 54? Bone storm. Bone storm. Uh, mighty winds tear across the landscape, collecting chips of stones and skeletal remains. The survivors huddle together on the outskirts of the storm. They may either brave the storm or wait it out. <sighs> Does anyone have any fragile gear? Ooh, this fragile? I don't think we want to brave the storm. I don't think anyone has fragile. So if we brave the storm, we're going to get one event damage to three random hit locations. All of us. I don't want to do that. That's bad. But we also get a Courage. We do. I think we should wait it out. Let's see what chat wants to do. Chat, what do you guys want to do? Would you rather brave the storm or wait it out? So if we brave the storm, we're going to take a three, a, one damage to three random hit locations for each person. Uh, no, there is a fragile keyword. So yeah. uh, Frenzy Potion is uh, fragile. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. The healing potion healing is, healing fragile. is fragile. So, so show that off in chat so they can see like, what we're talking about. So the uh, the text here, fragile. It's Italian. Wait it out. Wait it out. Yep. The potion is fragile. Fragile. And that's the only fragile thing that we have. Um, so they're saying wait. So we're going to wait it out. So we're going to roll two random hunt events here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need uh, yet another D101. We're going to do one at a time. So just the first one that we get here. 73. Josh, what's a 73? I... <laughs> Golden Ember. Uh, the the way forward is blocked by dense gold-flecked smoke. If the survivors have a final lantern... Nope, we don't have that. The survivors may push... Uh, the survivors may push ahead and brave the smoke. If they do, each survivor gains one courage, and the event revealer rolls a d10. Alright, got a courage here. Uh, I just got bold on soon to be dead. Really? Yep. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna brave it because that's what we're gonna do. And also, Daftaru is going to, but we'll we'll get there in just a second. So bold on soon to be dead. So what's bold, Josh? Uh, it's the courage event when you hit three courage. Okay, so we're gonna need one d10. Yep. Do you want to roll it or do you want chat? To I gotta roll. It. Okay, so bold. This is the hunt event phase. So you're gonna get prepared. So whenever you add, are a straggler, you're going to add your hunt XP. I rolled a nine. You rolled a nine. You're gonna gain plus one permanent strength. Okay. So what's your strength at? Uh, two. Two. And uh, you're going to get prepared. 
Yeah, I got so that. then Deftaru is going to uh, max out her courage right okay. now. Right now. So we're going to see the truth with Deftaru. Josh, what's see the truth? Um, it's when you see past the lies. The lies, deceit. So see the truth. The greatest courage is achieved when the past and future are abandoned. The void that remains is a dark, endless well of strength. Fear and pain are your nourishment, and you will feast. You suddenly recall meeting a strange masked man who, for a moment, opened your second eyelids. What you saw filled your mouth with the taste of your own death. Suffer the blind, severe head injury. So Daftaru is going to suffer the blind, severe head injury, uh, which means that... You're going to get minus one permanent accuracy. So their accuracy is going to go down to zero. You're going to get a bleeding token. You don't get bleeding tokens during the hunt phase, no? You don't suffer severe injuries. I thought you don't you get can, bleeding tokens. You can tokens. get tokens. You can get tokens? Yeah. You sure about that? Pretty sure. And they're going to taste death. So we're going to need a d10 to be rolled. Can you give them a bleed token, please? Uh, they rolled a three for taste death. Nope, it just breaks the... No, it's because that's when you... When you suffer severe injury, ignore it and archive this card instead. I guess, yeah, they don't suffer it because they have a suffer guy to the... get this. Oh, look at that. So no bleed. That's interesting. Murex Bob, I, I didn't even think of that. Oh, was that why they were saying Daftaru better have the Dratacanthus? Yeah. That makes sense now. That didn't register. Yeah, that's true. The gates, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, so you you guys are gonna keep your your accuracy, and you're not gonna get that. That's actually really good. Yep. Oh, I didn't. Why didn't we not think of that before? I feel dumb. Does the event say suffer the blind of severe head injury? Yeah. Yeah, it says suffer the blind severe head injury. It doesn't just say yeah. you get blinded by the light. Okay. So uh, can I have that Drydacanthus because that gets archived? You have the Drydacanthus and it gets archived. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Uh, okay. Uh, so. Josh, we have Graves, right? Yeah. All right, so Bitter, since they rolled a three, when your second eyelids are opened... Oh, I'm sorry. If this, um, no, I'm sorry. Sweet. Sweet Death. Because we have Graves, so it's okay. going to... Sweet Death. Uh, when your second eyelids opened, the veil of darkness was lifted. You recall looking at the sky and viewing a horizon of titanic faces. Each face is different and peers at you different parts of your body. Death was upon you, and you strongly and a strangely sweet flavor swirled around in your mouth. Gain the Weak Spot Disorder and the following ability. So, Weak Spot Disorder is, uh, you need to roll a hit location. Yeah, and they always have to have armor there. And you're going to always need to have armor at that location. So, Chad, if you could please roll a hit location. No. Nice try, Exelon. Roll the three. Yeah. A body. So, you are you guys are always going to need to have body, uh, armor. body armor. So, this is Weak Spot Body. And then... Uh, they, you now have Sweet Battle. So once per round, you may surge without spending survival. If you do, the activation must be used to activate a weapon. So, given the way that this is worded, you can't use surge twice now? Because it says you may use surge without spending survival. Yeah, yeah, so you can't So you can't that. double up surge and that. But that's damn nice right there. So you guys are going to get free surges. That's I, I like that. I like that a lot. So congratulations there, Daftaru. You're, you're, you're a good character. Dang it, Bobby. All right, so uh, where were we? Uh, we were on the... I don't remember. Where were we? Josh, where were we? Why don't I remember? Ember or something? I thought, yeah. but it's not here. I'm really confused. What was it? 51, I thought. I don't think so. It wasn't Refugis. 73, they're saying? Oh, it might have been. I don't know why it, it got moved to it. Yeah, Golden Ember. That's really yeah. weird that it got... All right. Um, so we each gained a survival. And the event revealer needs to roll a d10. I was the event revealer here, I believe, right? But I'm going to have chat roll it. So chat, please roll a d10. <laughs> Starting to look like a good character. It would be a shame if someone started to, you know, roll some ones. Uh, they rolled a nine. 
Exxon rolled a 9. Exxon, are you feeling okay? So Exxon rolled a 9. The survivors grasp each other's hands, form a line, and traverse the smoke. They breathe through rags and take turns peeking out of ori- for orientation. Somewhere deep within the smoke, they stumble across a crater. They may ignore it and escape the smoke, ending this event, or they may explore the crater. We're exploring the crater. This is a really long event. This is a really long event. Really, really long event. This is a really long event. This is one of two, also. We have to do yeah. a second one after this. Uh... Okay, so, um, the survivors carefully descend into the crater, finding the ruins of a settlement surrounded by a ring of skulls. The settlement is absolutely demolished, and almost everything has been ground to powder from some tremendous force. The skulls face away from the ruins, and in each gaping mouth, a golden ember spews smoke. The sight is haunting. Each survivor suffers 1d10 brain damage and gains a random disorder. So, chat, we're going to need a d10 for you. Uh, they rolled a nine. So they take nine brain damage. So they had their box checked, yep. it's safe to say. And you can't take severe brain injuries no, during this. No, so. you don't do any severe injuries. So but we're going to need some random disorders. So we're going to need four random disorders to be pulled. So we're going to go in order of uh, chat first, then myself, then Josh, then Josh. So chat first is revenge. When a survivor dies during the showdown, suffer the frenzy trauma. So let's get rid of uh, secretive. Yeah. Okay, so that's revenge. So then for me now, chat, can you please pull a random disorder? Uh, binge eating. You cannot depart unless you have consumable gear in your gear grid, and you must consume if a choice to consume arises. You think off that bleed token for them too. Why? Oh, they didn't get it, remember? Because they didn't take the severe injury? Because they can't this? No. Yes. Uh... So I'm going to get binge eating. So I have to depart with a consumable gear, and I have to consume if presented with the opportunity. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to need another disorder for Mr. Josh, which is your first character. Uh, soon to be dead. Soon to be dead. Uh, hoarder. Ugh, it sucks to have two hoarders on the same... Oh, shit. What? The technically, the character's going to come out. Huh? These two characters technically going to come come out. Why not? They had megalophobia. Oh. Well, yeah, it's a little late fine. for that. We have too many hoarders. So hoarders is uh, when you're a returning survivor, archive one of the resources gathered from the showdown and gain plus one courage. <sighs> okay. I actually and... need to get rid of that on that tower because there's no reason to have it anymore. So yeah. they're at max. And then we need one more. This is for hopeful. Ooh, start start raving. raving. You are always insane regardless of your insanity. Well, I just got rid of Mycophobia. Which is nice for the Twilight Sword, I guess, because it's sentient, right? Yep. All right, so... Um, the survivors gingerly sift through the ruins. Nominate a survivor to investigate and roll a d10. Um, I'm I don't know. Uh... It's going to be you, Josh. It's going to be... Which one? I don't know. Pick one. Soon to be dead? Let, oh, they're saying let Twitch do it. Twitch wants Twitch, to go Twitch, you guys are going to do it. You're going to investigate. So roll a d10, Twitch. A seven. seven. So what's a seven? I don't know. Uh, you notice that the settlement is strewn with lanterns, all extinguished and smashed nearly beyond recognition. The survivors resolve that this will never happen to them. If any survivor returns to the settlement this year, gain plus two endeavors. Nice. So we're going to get plus two extra endeavors. Cool. Can't okay. complain about that. So that was the first of the two extra hunt events that we had to do. So now we're going to need another hunt event to be pulled. So, Chad, can you please roll a D101? And... No, no, no. Oh, no, that was an yeah, eight. Okay, never mind. Eight. That was just an eight. So what's an eight? Uh, Cancer pigeons. No, it's not. I, I... It's not. Wailing smoke. So, wailing smoke. A constant moan follows the survivors. <laughs> hate you so much. Uh, eventually, they enter an area shrouded in thick fog, and a wailing reaches a fevered pitch. Sorry, everyone at home. Your ears probably... Every non-deaf survivor rolls a d10. Uh, so we're going to need a d10 chat. And they rolled a 7. Both I've, my characters. We both rolled 7s. Okay. Um, let's see. 
if all survivors are deaf, no, we are, we are not. The lowest scoring survivor or survivors in case of a tie becomes a straggler. Oh, I get that. You have prepared XP. though, so you add your hunt XP. So it's hopeful. That's hopeful is the straggler. Um, my speaker is sad face. Uh, each straggler. So roll a d10, Josh. Do you have any noisy gear? No. Okay. No, we don't bring noisy gear. It's a ten. Um, if any survivor has noisy gear, no one has any no noisy one. gear. Uh, so a ten. Mimicking the disturbing smoke. <laughs> you calmly start to wail with it. Gain plus two insanity. <laughs> <laughs> I told that smoke. What did you tell it? Ghost <laughs> Such a moron. So I get for good headphones. Ghost story. <laughs> oh my god. So that was the last hunt event. We're going to all progress forward, and it's time for 400 us 400 subs. Fight. Give away. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Never use headphones on this stream. <laughs> I need to... I want, another mode I want to do, I want to do an RIP. Like the grave one. But I, don't, I want to make it like... Special. I don't. I don't know how to make it special. R.I.P. in peace, my ears. Like it's a it's a dead ear. <laughs> um. Shouldn't our head box be checked? No. 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 You guys didn't take any. Uh. So the monster's gonna start over here, and we're all gonna start on this far board edge. And Josh, we are going to need the solar track, four stone column terrain tiles, and one salt sculpture card set up in the purple spaces. Four columns. Two sculpt sculptures. And I need to go get the graves emote. What are you doing, Josh? I need to get the you're doing a you're doing a quote ten. That's what you're doing. One, two, three, four. So I'm just setting up the Oh yes, the brain box should be checked. Let me take care of that. So survivor brain. You didn't put a picture for brain, Josh. You're a picture. <laughs> a grave labeled NACL. What's knackle? Guys, what's knackle? Oh, you didn't give me the salt column. Or you did give me the salt column. I just put the wrong things. Don't mind me. Where? I can't see. There, diagonally. Sneaky moves, sis. Yes. Sneaker, sneaker. Are you a sneaky snake, Josh? Naked snake? Sneaky snake. Um, Not a snaky snake. Okay, so we are just about. Oh, there's so many dice on the. Board. We need to grab more minis. Why? Oh, yeah, we do. I am building the board. Can you? No. Okay, make sure you talk to the people, though. All right, so I'm building deck. Uh, oh. They're pulling settlement events. They pulled Kling and Mist. That would have been nice. That would have been fun, right, Matt? Yep. That would make this game a little bit easier. Notches and cheese included. Hi, Ice Chamber. All right. So we got seven basics. All right, I'm back. Uh, so the solar track, we're going to push this over to the side a little bit. And we're all going to start off in the main drag here. So, Josh, where do you want to, to start? I've got the bow, so I don't I don't really care. Um, you guys probably don't want to be Jason to whoever's Who? going to be tanking. Who's Jason? Uh, Red's going to tank. Red's going to tank? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Always green. Um, Red's tank because they have the club. Since it's cumbersome, I'm just gonna let the monster come to head and then smack it back. So is that, uh, also is... green's got a very weird armor set going on right now. It's got the screaming coat with rawhide, so they don't get any bonuses. How is this set up right here, Josh? That looks. Twitch has the most limited movement. That's why I put them there. No, they get rid of their. Oh, that's that's true. They get rid of their token. Yeah. But still, what do you think? Oh, uh, that looks fine to me. There's no random terrain. Just that stuff. So what's weird about the this arena fight? So uh, the Sunstalker is unique in that it's got something called the Solar Track. 
uh, yeah, the solar track. So it is a track where the monster's discarded cards, uh, once he completes his AI cards, don't go into his wound stack. They go into the solar no, flare track. discard cards. What I just said. The, this is the wound stack. I said, when you I said not his wound stack. I said the discard cards. Okay. So that's what I thought I said. I, it sounded a little weird to no. me, so... Um, not the wound stack. Whenever the monster discards his AI cards that he's using, instead of going to the discard pile, I might have said that wrong. Yeah. Uh, it goes to the solar track. So what this is, is it's going to build up an ability. So once it hits the third level, it's all survivors in the light suffer monster level plus two damage and are knocked down. Archive all flammable gear. And then rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. So it's also got a sundial, and that's going to rotate as the, uh, the the showdown's going on. And it's going to basically cast different areas in shadow, depending on what you're standing around. And I'll show that off in just a second here. So we've got um, the sundial. So I'll show that. And that is survivor standing... Uh, standing survivors and obstacle terrain tiles cast a shadow in the direction indicated above. Shadows are one space long. The Sunstalker, Shades, and Knockdown survivors do not cast shadows. What's a shade, you might ask? Well, a shade is going to be this little dude here. So these are the minions of the Sunstalker. Uh, so throughout the showdown, he's going to be spawning these bad boys. They are one life, four movement monsters that have monster level plus one toughness. Uh, two speed, six plus accuracy for monster level damage as their attacks, and then they cause bleed one. When you kill one, you get a reward of getting plus one survival. Uh, then we've got light and shadow. Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to show off this one first. Shadows of Darkness. So this is one of the trait cards that the Sunstalker is going to start with. And that is place one shade in the shadow of each terrain tile. If the shadow of a terrain tile is fully occupied, do not place a shade. So uh, if something shows up to do Shadows of Darkness, he's going to spawn shades in each one of the terrain tile shadows. Light and Shadow. A survivor in a space where a shadow is cast is in darkness, and a survivor in darkness cannot be in the light. A survivor anywhere else is in the light. So these are going to affect different statuses of cards. So uh, we'll make sure to show that off as well. And then finally, we've got solar energy. I see them talking about Polish people. I'm curious. They're as talking what... about pierogies. They're talking about pierogies? Yes. I love pierogies. Someone said they were on BGG all day talking about pierogies. Oh, man. I'm going to be making my own pierogies for Christmas Eve. That's a tradition. But anyways, solar energy. After the monster performs an AI uh, attack, uh, place it face down on the solar track instead of the discard pile. And then so if you see that solar flare symbol there, that's equal to the number of face down cards currently in the solar track. So stuff is going to be augmented by how many cards are in the solar track as well. One of the interesting things about the Sunstalker is since those cards are no longer in the hit look the AI deck, as they accumulate in the solar flare track, they're technically temporary wounds. Yeah. So you can kill this monster really quickly. And Ice Chamber said, "May send me some that." <laughs> that'll be that'll be one of our sub, sub uh, twenty five sub giveaways. <laughs> pierogies. Matt's pierogies. Matt's pierogies. How would they travel in the mail? Um, they wouldn't really move much. They're inanimate objects. They just sit there. They'll probably just like. <laughs> you don't know what a pierogi is? Daphne. 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 It's, I mean, every culture has the generic dumpling. They're the, the Polish dumpling. We'll get into this later. Okay. That's you, a decent... It's so much more than that, though. But it's a general, like... <laughs> I will sub for a year if you did. <laughs> Thank you, that. Um, all right, so I think we're ready to begin. So as per usual, the monster is going to go first. We're going to go uh, after the monster. Um, are we ready? Where's the monster controller? Uh, I have no idea. So okay. Josh is going to start out as the monster controller. Okay. Uh, which one of your characters, though? Uh, Red is. Don't you dare say it's a lesser ravioli. You are wrong. You are wrong. We will fight James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's right here. So it's who's going to die today? Oh, Josh, you want to set up a contest? That's already up. Oh, cool. There uh, you go. People voted. I think people picked... Uh, I'm curious. Uh, they're going for Daff. I would believe it now. All right, so we are ready to begin. Josh is the monster controller, so let's start us out. So what's the first AI card there, Josh? Remember, we have all our survival actions now. Yeah, we all have... Besides yeah, Endure. No, we but... don't. 
Uh, but we've got Surge. We got Surge. We got Dash. Yeah. Cosmic Heat. So, when this comes into play, perform Shadows of Darkness. So, just like that, he's going to spawn a shade in all of the uh, terrain tile shadows. So, six. so, what direction is the sun facing? Shadows you of do that. it in the, in the board, just so people see. Oh, sorry. There you go. So, it's going in that direction. So, it's going to spawn in all of the terrain uh, shadows, not people shadows. Um, so, we've, we're just using our unpainted minis here. Because Fen didn't give us all the minis. So we're going to get six of these shades uh, placed onto the board. So the nice thing is these are going to allow us to farm survival. Yeah. So And the shades go after the survivor? That's the one thing I always forget. The monster. The monster. I believe that the shades go uh, after the post monster. Um... Minions perform their minion action once, one at a time, at the end of the monster turn. Okay, so they're, they're going to activate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then, it's at the end of the survivor's turn, any survivors in the light are going to suffer uh, monster level plus sun track level damage. So at least one damage. This is going to go in there, though, so it's going to be two damage. Yep. So when no, there this, are... is not, this is in play. This is a trait. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. This is a trait. Uh, so then, when there are no shades on the showdown board, discard this card. So we kind of want to get rid of these shades quickly. Because if we don't go into the shadow, we're going to get damaged. So he doesn't draw any more cards, though, right? So that's nope. the end of the monster's turn. He didn't move. Nope. That's kind of annoying. So now all of the shades are going to activate. So what's the shades' movement? Uh, shades' movement is four. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. That's not adjacent. We're going to have one, two, three, four. That is adjacent. So he's going to attack you. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, Josh. He's going to attack you. What's the monster speed? Two. Monster's got two speed. Uh, what's the accuracy? Uh, six plus. I have two evasion. So it's an eight plus. Eight plus. So it's a seven and a four. Two misses. Monster right. misses you. So it's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. I think it's time for us to beat up some shades. Hey, I guess so. So I would suggest surging to do your attack. Because if you spend your survival, you gain it back. Can. Just by killing it? Does that make sense? It makes sense. All right. Okay. I'm going to... Hold on. Let me move the camera over a little bit more. We're still kind of hidden. So wait, what are you doing? I'm you're attacking with green. And you're attacking the shade in front of you. Shade in front of me. What's your accuracy? Accuracy is a seven plus. Seven plus. Uh, you rolled a nine and an eight. So that's two hits and yes. a two. Uh, so two hits. So no hit locations get drawn for this. You just are going to attempt to wound. Yes. So they have a toughness of seven, eight. Eight. Toughness of eight. You rolled a four. Three, four, five. I have five strength, so that's enough. That's yeah, a nine. three plus would wound. So that one's dead. And I get my survival back. And you get your survival back. All right. So do you want to do – what else do you want to do with your turn? I guess I'll – you can actually dash to the other shade. Can I? Yeah. And you can attack it. Sure, I'll dash. Note, though, you will be in the light. You can just wait another round for the shade to come closer to you. How much damage? It's one damage. It will be one damage, yes, to a random hit location. No, it's at the, yeah, it's one at damage. the end of our turn. Okay, so you rolled an 8, an 8, and an 8. Triple 8s. 8, 8, 8. So you rolled a 4. That's a wound. Monster's dead. Or I get my survival back. He's dead. You didn't use his survival. Oh, yeah, you did. For your, your dash. dash. So you used your survival, and you got it back. Um, so, yay. I'm going to... I'm going to spend two survive... Can I do that? I can spend two survival to dash and surge. To do what? To attack this guy. You can use a survival action and part of your ha half your action to do something. And then you could do it again. So you could use okay. a dash and then use your... You can't use two survival actions together yeah. to be cumbersome, but you can use it with it in your... Okay. Before and after your turn, basically, to perform. Um, I'm two. not adjacent. I don't have anything with reach. Shoot. You have range, though. I do, but then if I use it here, I can't move here and shoot this guy. Can you hit one of these guys? Can you hit this guy? Uh, 
can throw a bone dart at him. Okay, throw a bone dart at him. I'd appreciate that. Or no, I could just dash and beat him with my club. Yeah, you can do that. And then just run to the shadow. I can't run. I would have to dash. It's cumbersome. Oh. Piston tooth him, no? Up to you. Accuracy is the big issue. Your face is an issue. Uh, You're back and get food because all the food duck. Uh, what's Twitch going to do? Twitch can't really do anything except for hide. They could go hit it. They could dash up to the monster and smack it in the face. Good. Twitch, do you guys want to dash up to the monster and smack it in the face? Do you want to guys go run into... That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Just getting in damage as soon as possible is not, you know, horrible. I see yes. So that would be one, two, three, four, five movement. Then you need to dash. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five that you can get over here. Um, well, that, want them out of reach of that shade when it activates. Okay. So we can just keep them in the face. Or we could go over here so yeah, it, right it can't vomit on them. Uh, could Rawhide then use the free surge to attack? Yeah. You just attack twice. You could attack twice. Yeah. Uh, so let's do that. We're going to move you guys all the way up here. Uh, see if they use survival. You need a D10 to see if you use your sur or if you regain your survival. You do not, so you decrease the survival by one. Uh, then you guys are going to attack. So you guys have the rib blade, and the rib blade is a one six five. You do have one natural accuracy though, so it's going to be a five plus for you to hit. So we need one D10 to be rolled a five plus to hit. They rolled a nine, so that is a hit. Okay. Uh, so first hit location card. Trap card. No, it's not. You're attacking the Cosmic Tentacle. So, um, ooh, this is interesting because it's going to rotate the sundial, which no one ran to shade yet, so that's not bad. Nah, that's not bad. Um, so, chat, we're going to need a D10 to be rolled. So, they rolled an 8. That's a crit. They have 2 luck. Okay. Gain 1 random Sunstalker resource. You also are going to ignore the reflex, so it's not going to rotate the sundial. Um, your attack separates a squirmy appendage from the monster. It's got the severed tentacle injury, and that affects some cards. And so you guys got some black lenses. These eyes are filled with a savory, gluey substance that dries when exposed to air. Guys, rip that eyes. You No, it's not consumable. You're not eating it. <laughs> so, Josh, more importantly, can you reduce the monster's life total by one? And that is the end of your main action. You guys get a free surge as well. I'm assuming you want to use it, because why the hell not? So why don't you roll another d10, and uh, it's going to be a 5 plus for you guys to hit the monster. That's a 6. That's a hit. And you're attacking... Ooh, light bending. So light bending. If you are in the... This looks really cool. If you're in the light, you are. Uh, suffer... Zero, zero damage, damage to one hit location because there's no cards in the sun tracker. Then move the monster one space away from the attacker. Oh, damn it. Cancel all hits now out of range. So if they moved one more spot closer. No, because it would have just moved this way. Just away from the attacker. Way in either direction. I guess. Uh, so that is the end uh, of that. Your hit doesn't get a chance. But uh, you, don't, you, you don't lose a survival on it, so that's nice, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, do you want to try with red now? Do it to hit that shade? Yeah. If. I will throw a, I will try to throw a bone dart at Okay, it. so what do you need to hit? Uh, seven plus. One die. Six. Try it. What are you going to do now? You going to run to the shade? Um. Yes. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. I need a dash to get anywhere. Else. Use your big boy words there, I'll Josh. dash. To get over here. Where's my character sheet? Where'd Chuck know. Foundingstone go? I don't know. Where's Chuck Foundingstone? I don't know where he went. Did you steal him from me? Nope. I think you did. You dirty, dirty liar. I have no idea where he went. Just keep going. Okay. Um, I dash. I do use my survival. Oh, I see it. I got it. Mr. Foundstone has left the building. So I forgot that I had the stone noses, so I'm going to get plus one survival and plus one insanity yep. for arriving. Alright, so... 
you dashed over there. I am going to do something. I don't know what, though. Do you want to try to kill the one right next to you? Yeah, I'm going to... Hmm. I mean, whatever. I'll spend a... a... Oh, uh, Twitch and I both need to take one damage. Why is that? At the end of the survivor's turn? Yeah, the survivor's turn. All of ours turn. turn. I'm assuming that means once we're all done. So if we were to all oh, have okay. destroyed the... Which we didn't, but... Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to uh, shoot it from where I'm standing. I'm going to spend a survival to dash to use the bow activation. I, I use it, so uh, it goes down to four. And then I'm going to roll to attack. So I'm going to roll two d ten. You don't have a rawhide set. Oh, you're right, I don't. Uh, I'm going to roll two d10s. Uh, it's a seven plus for me to hit. That sucks, seven plus. Uh, six and a four, two misses. <sighs> I mean, at this point, I kind of have to, don't I? After what? Kill it? Yeah. It's best to just take the damage then. Because if you move here, this guy's gonna come attack you anyway. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend another survival to go again and do that again. So this time I'm spending a survival to do the surge action, using all my survival now. It's a ten and a two, so that's at least one hit there. So I need to I have one natural strength, the weapon has three strength, so I need to roll a four plus. Okay. That's a ten. I crit it. Doesn't do anything. I get a survival back, though. So I killed this shade, and I'm going to gain a survival back. Uh, I can't move, though. Jim's like, wait, we get back, the bow back? Put a pull up. It was overwhelming. Yeah. Twitch did not want the bull. Yeah. Uh, so we all went. It is the end of the survivor's turn. It's now the monster's turn. So, survive so we're all going to take one damage besides soon to be dead. Yeah. So damage to a random hit location. Yep. So Twitch, can you please roll a random hit location? You guys are going to take one damage there. I'm going to take a damage to my hands. Again, damage to the waist. Uh, Twitch rolled the legs. They're going to take one damage to their legs. All right. So reduce their leg armor to uh, one. And now it's the monster's turn. Josh, the monster controller passes to hopeful, and I'm going to draw the next AI card. So this is the um, reflective atmosphere. It's another trait card. All the traits. Uh, when this comes into play, draw an AI card. If the monster is level one, place this on the solar track immediately. So this is going to go on the solar track. Light bounces in impossible ways. Uh, whenever a survivor attacks, they are in the light. So whenever you attack, you're in the light. When a shade is defeated, place a token on this card. When there are three tokens on it, place this card face down on the solar Monsters track. Monsters level one place. You just place this on the oh, solar yeah, track. Yeah, this yeah, is this just going to go on the solar track. So, so we still draw an AI card, though. Uh, so, Boiling Darkness. There is one legendary card for level one. And we got the one that doesn't do anything Yeah. when it's a level one. All survivors in the darkness suffer uh, two damage. <laughs> so that's you. You're going to take two damage. Rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. So now the sundial is pointing directly away from the camera. Uh, place this card face down on the solar track, then perform a basic action. So what's the monster's basic action? We're getting some nasty cards here. So his basic action is going to attack the furthest threat in darkness. So that's you, Josh. Um, so it's going to move and attack. So it's got more than enough movement. It's got 16. 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I'm not even going to count. So it's going to go up to here. That way. Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, so we're going to need three D10s to be rolled. It's a four plus accuracy. Josh, what's your uh, evasion? Uh, my evasion is two. So it's going to be a six plus to hit. So that's a four, an eight, and one more D10. So we have and a seven. So you have two hits. You're going to take hits to the body and the body. Those are going to do four damage each. And afterwards, you're going to get knockback 12. Four damage each. Yeah, these are really nasty. I'm assuming you're going to dodge one. Yeah. I'll are you going to dodge the body or the body? I don't spend survival for it. So are you I'm dodging the body or the body? Uh, the body. So you're going to take a, a heavy hit to the body. Yes. And then you're going to get knockback 12. And, knock and you're knocked down because of the body. All right, so that is the end of the monster's turn. Uh, now the shades are going to go. So shades are going to move four spaces towards the closest survivors. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Move them there. Just hanging out with the uh, 
positor? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it can't reach any of us. Uh, it's now the end of our turn, or the monster's turn. It's now our turn. So we need to kill these shades, or else we're going to get hit really hard from that uh, the uh, that one trade card. Yep. So, Twitch, you guys are up first, let's say. So uh, I would suggest you moving forward one space and then attacking this shade. Uh, do they have max survival right now? Um, no, they're at five. Okay, so... I would suggest just moving forward one and attacking this uh, this shade, and then we can take it from there. So I'm going to move you guys forward one space, and let's have you roll a d10. You need a 5 plus to hit. That's a 1. That's a failure. You get a free surge, though. Yep. Definitely assuming that that's what they're doing there. So free surge, d10. It's a 10. That's a perfect hit. They don't get anything for a perfect hit, do they? Oh, they have Rhythm Chaser also. Okay, so they have plus one evasion. And I'm sorry, they do get something on a perfect hit. They have craze, so they're going to get plus one insanity from the perfect hit. Okay. So I'm going to... They don't draw an AI card or a hit location card because this is the shade that they're attacking. They, they have one natural strength. Their weapon has five strength. So they're going to need a two plus to wound the shade. So they rolled a one. Really? They failed. Okay. So, yeah. That's that. Uh, oh, that was Exelon? Was yeah, that can you have them roll with these and see if they use the survival for the... No, they didn't dash. They anything. didn't dash. Yeah, so, Josh, do you want to take care of the shades? Yeah, I guess so. Can you take care of both of the shades? I... Do you have reach? No, I don't have reach. Then no, you can't take care of both of the shades. I could dash and surge. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, you could. I, I, so I have things that... You're going to move here, I'm assuming. Yeah. And you're going to attack that one. So what do you need to hit? Seven plus. So you got one hit. What do you need to wound? Do they have blind spots or no? Uh, I would assume yes. So I'm going to say that was blind spot. You hit twice because it has blind Three, spot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's, another That's a wound. Way. Okay, so you're going to gain one survival. So Josh, you're going to gain eight. I would have said I dashed over there. Okay. So now you're going to move over to this one. I'm going to surge. And now you're going to surge. So go ahead and roll a three D10s. You hit on a seven plus. That's a 10, a 10, and a five. Two hits. Attack the first one. Then the second one. You rolled a one and a 10. So you got another one. one so you're going to gain plus one additional survival. So I'm back at fax. And that's the end of my turn. <laughs> that is, that's new. It says for a total of? Yeah, I, put, I turned that on. That's interesting. So how many bits they've ever? Um, so I'm going to... Sp I'm not going to spend a survival um, to stand you up. Uh, can we have Twitch do it? Because they might yeah, not spend it. Yeah, that's true. Twitch, we're going to use you guys to use a survival to stand Josh up. Let's see if you uh, if you get it back. You get it back. So that's a freebie. All right. Can you attack that shade? It'd be really nice if you could. Plus, I'm sure you could use a survival, right? Okay, I'm going to dash over there. Okay. You use your survival for dashing. And which space would you like to go? Directly in front of him? Or... I want to go right there. Okay. Next to the monster. So you can't really Actually. see it. Right here? Yeah, you can't really see it, guys. Or you can see that space there. So he's, he's standing right in front of the monster. Why did Josh not dodge both the chest hits when he got hit by the basic action? And that's because you can't dodge more than once. Yeah, you can only dodge, dodge one once time. per turn. Unless you've got... Uh... Extra sense, which there hopeful you go. does. Not, oh, really? Not soon to be dead, though. Uh, so uh, you rolled a 10. 10 and a 10. And a 10. So two perfect hits. Do you get anything for perfect hit? Nah. Okay. And you rolled a 9 and a 7. Those both would have killed it, so yeah. you're going to kill the shade. There are no more shades on the board, so that trade card goes away. Uh, and what? It's going to trigger Solar Flare? No, it says discard. Yeah. But, solar Flare says... But the Solar Track says what? Instead of discarding, the card's going to go there instead, right? Yes. What does it say? Uh, all survivors in the light suffer damage. Place cards on solar in the discard pile. Place some moves in play. Face up. I don't know what you're saying. I, I, I'm seeing if solar flare happens now. Um, when a monster completes the actions on an AI card and discards it, it places it face down on the solar track. Okay, so this goes in the actual discard pile. Yes. Okay. Moods and traits that leave play should not be placed on the solar track. It says specifically okay. in the rules. Okay. Um, now I am going to surge. Okay. So what do you need to hit? 
Oh, that's to gain your see if you use your survival. Yes. You do use your survival. Use my survival, but I got I got one back from killing the sage. Correct. So I never added that. You have a net zero there. So I'm gonna hit on a six plus. I'm trying to hit him in the ding dong. So you rolled a six and a one, so that's one hit, and you're attacking the light bending. So this is a first strike. If you are in the light, which you are, uh, you are going to suffer two damage to one random hit location. So you're going to suffer two damage to your feet. That's the agony of defeat for you. Uh, and then move the monster one space away from the attacker. All right. Cool. So I'm going to shoot him right now with the claw head arrow. You can move. I don't want to move. You can move into the shadow. Why would I want to move? So when he does solar flare, you're in the shadow? Fine. I'm going to move, and I'm going to use the claw head arrow. So I am going to hit on a 6 plus. Yeah, because I've got no natural accuracy. So 6 plus... That's two. So I I failed my arrow. So that's the end of my turn. Did everyone else go? Yep. Okay, so it's the end of the monster. It's the end of our turn. It's not the monster's turn. Uh, Did he just say the agony of defeat? Yep. He did. Yes. Matt thinks he's hilarious. You know why? Because I am hilarious. Okay, guys? Twitch is monster controller. Twitch, you guys are monster controller. And uh, we've got the dazzling beam. So what sound does the dazzling beam make, Josh? Pew, pew. The furthest survivor adjacent to a survivor. There are no survivors adjacent to a survivor. Then the furthest threat. So green is going to actually be the furthest threat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to... It doesn't say move and attack. It just says attack target and all other survivors in the blast zone. This cannot be dodged. So he's not going to move. But the, the target is that center spot. Correct. So, so Twitch might want to dash. Yeah, I would recommend Twitch dashing right now. So Twitch, why don't you guys see if you use your D10? Because this is a little nasty. It's very nasty. Uh, they're all to 10, so you don't use your survival. So I'm going to have you dash to the blind spot. So you can just smack away. Yep. Uh, on your turn. Uh, but so Josh, you're going to get attacked. We're going to need a D10 to be rolled. What's your evasion? Uh, plus one, two. Okay, so it's a 4 plus to hit you. That's a 9, so that is a hit. You will be taking 5 damage to a hit location. This attack cannot be dodged. Yeah. That's, that's painful. That is painful. You can take 5 damage to a hit location. Forgot how mean. That's uh, not a hit location. No, though. thank God. You rolled feet. So now you are suffering the agony of defeat. I have to take a severe injury on the feet. Do you have any acanthus or anything? Nope. Oh, that's good. Good job, Josh. Good job, Josh. Five. A five on the legs. Hamstrung, a painful rip. The leg is unusable. You can no longer use any fighting arts or abilities. This injury is permanent and can be recorded once. Gain a bleeding token. So how badly does that affect you? Uh, ham hamstrung? Yeah. No fighting arts or abilities. Abilities isn't much. Because I don't have any abilities. So that that's not too bad. Um, extra Such, sense? Yeah, the extra sense is bad. All right, so that is the end of the monster's turn. There are no shades, so it is now our turn. No. Oh, it's going to solar flare now. Jesus. So what happens um, during solar flare? Where was Twitch? In the blind spot now. No, where were they before? Here. Because it might have been a smarter move to move them into the shadow. Where the shadow is, one, two, three. They could have moved to the shadow. Because we should have thought about. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna retcon that and say that they moved to the shadow. Okay. It's a smart move. So, what what happens now with the all survivors in the light suffer through damage and are knocked down. I was already knocked down. Okay, three damage. Yep. So you're gonna take three damage and get knocked down, Josh, for both your characters. <sighs> Where are you taking that one to, Josh? Uh, to defeat. That's a severe injury. Are you feeling the agony of defeat yet? But the, oh, I'm sorry, that was on. I was soon to be dead. Yeah, but they have Dridacanthus, so they don't suffer. Oh, they do. So next up, you're going to take three damage to the uh, hopeful. To, to where? Feet again. You're going to suffer more foot agony. That's nine. a nine. Bloody thighs. Gain two bleeding tokens. All right. See, Scottios appreciates my jokes. Yeah, Sunstalker is really hard. Like, I forgot how difficult he is. And then the place all the cards in play in the discard pile. 
the discard pile. Didn't we do a damage to him? Yeah. Why is his life at 10? Oh, it was at 11. Is that 11? We did a singular damage to him. And then rotate this. Sun Tracker. 90 degrees. Okay. I rotated 180 before. Oops. All right. So that is the end of the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass to me. It is now our turn. Uh, no one is... You two are still knocked no, down, it's, right? It's still their turn. It's our turn now. That was the end of the monster's turn. Monster control over to token has moved to the Oh, you're right. Turn. right. Sorry. Um, who's who's next? That's our turns. Yeah. I would like it if Twitch stood someone up because I my survival is yeah. very limited. So they should stand up, soon to be dead. Okay, so soon to be dead is going to be standed up, stood up. Uh, do you guys use your survival? You do. You're gonna your survival is going to go down by one. Uh, so soon to be dead stands up, and Twitch, you guys can one two three four five one two three. You guys can dash and move into the monster's blind spot and beat it up. I would imagine that that's what they want to do there. Probably so we're going to need that. another d10 to be rolled to see if you use your survival for dashing. You do. So we're going to have you dash. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to move you right into the middle of the, the back of the monster. So you're going to attack. You're going to need a four plus to hit the monster. Okay. Because you're in the blind spot. You've got one natural accuracy and the weapon's a six plus. That's a two. That's a failure. You do get one free surge though because you have sweet battle so we're gonna need one more d10 to be rolled four plus it's a four that's a hit let's see what you they're attacking the prismatic gills so the prismatic gills uh, oh boy let's see what you get here three so you guys have uh, one natural strength your weapon has five strength so that's six you rolled a three that's nine. nine. That's that not, not enough. enough. But that's probably not. Th that's not a bad thing. We would have taken some damage there. No. No, there's nothing on the track, so we would have just got bash and knock back. Oh, that's right. Well, that sucks. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So that is the end of Twitch's turn. So red, it's your turn now. Uh, hit location card. Yeah. Matt, you want to shoot it first? Sure, I'll shoot it. So I've got two speed. I uh, hit on a seven plus. It's a nine and a ten. Wow, that's surprising. So nine and a ten. I'm attacking the ink heart and the fertility clasper. I'm attacking the ovipositor there. So first I'm going to do the fertility clasper. So my weapon has three strength. I have one strength. I need to roll a six plus to wound the monster. Right? That's a ten. I crit it. Critical wound. Gain the fertility tentacle sunstalker resource. Um, roll a d10. I rolled a 10. If the result is less than or equal to your courage, cancel all reactions until the end of the attack. So no. Uh, but I did get the fertility clasper. Can you please reduce the monster's life total by one? Uh, the tube-like appendage has a cavity at the base that stores eggs. So that's the ovipositor. There we go. What can we make with that? Uh, have we ever got that before? I don't think so. I'm kind of intrigued. Uh, so now I'm attacking the ink heart. So the ink heart. Uh, again, I'm going to need a four plus to, uh, I'm sorry, six plus to wound the monster. An eight. So that's a wound. So reduce the monster's life total by another one. Uh, the attacker is sprayed with projectile ink and suffers monster level plus two damage and knockback 12. If the space they were in is now unoccupied, place a shade in it. Oh, yay. Okay, so I'm going to take three damage to a random hit location. So how about three damage to the head? So that's a severe injury, but I've got Dridocanthus, so that's going to take the brunt of the damage there. Uh, and then I'm going to get knocked back 12. Yay. And now a shade is going to go in my spot. Um, I'm going to surge right now, and I'm going to use my founding stone to attack the shade. Okay. Um, so I need a 7 plus to hit the shade. Rolled a 4 and a 9, so that's one hit. Uh, I have 2 strength, so I need a 6 plus to wound oh. the monster. Ah, uh, 4. That failed. Okay, that sucks. Uh, did you take down your survival? No, I did not. My survival's down to 3. Uh, can I have the hit location back, please? You can certainly try. So, uh, are uh, you... Card. You, oh. 
So uh, did red go yet? Red didn't go. No, red is going to encourage green up. You don't use your survival, use or survival. you regain your survival. That's yeah, the survival. appropriate term there. Green gets up. Um, Chuck Founding Stone uses Founding Stone. It has no effect. I am going to dodge forward a space. Dash forward. Dash forward. Duck, did dive, dodge. Yeah. So what do you need to hit? Uh, I like regain my survival back. Uh, I need a 6 plus to hit. So you rolled a 10 and a 4. So one hit, and you're attacking. Ooh, what is this? Engulf in light. So this is light speed. Uh, rotate the sundial clockwise until the attacker is in the light. So, rotate it once at least. I would assume. <sighs> yeah, if that isn't possible, po it is possible. Um, discard discard this card without any attempt to wound. Okay. If Chuck Founding Stone uses a Founding Stone, isn't that technically Fist and Tooth? No. Oops. You're not uh, surging, Josh? What? You're not surging? With it's cumbersome, so I can't. Oh. I dashed in the spot, so... You didn't move? I moved one space forward. I had to dash forward one spot. Oh. To hit him. Oh, okay. Sorry. Took me a second there. Uh, so what do you need to hit now? Um, I'm in the blind spot, so six plus. Six plus to hit the blind spot. So you rolled a nine, a six, and a one, so that's two hits. So uh, they're both first strike. So which one would you like to be first? This one. Okay. So you're attacking the Sun Shark Snout. So what do you need to wound? What do you need to crit? Uh, I have three, four, five strength. So I need a five plus. Five plus. And I have four luck. So six plus. Six plus to crit. A four. That's a failure. I have my guitar. And I that's ignoring up. the first. That's that's very nice. So now you're attacking light bending. So light bending. If you're in the light, uh, suffer. I'm not in the light. Yes, you are. Well, no, I am Jason to a survivor, and they're oh, casting shadow are. on me. Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay. So you can now so I can attempt to wound this. this location. Yeah. It's a five plus the wound. It's a three. That's a failure. It's horrible. Would you like to surge? Yes, I would like to surge. So let's see if you use your survival. I use my survival. I don't have a full rise up. Ah. So uh, you need to roll your 3d10s again. And what do you hit on again? Six plus? Six plus. Uh, that's a seven, a two, and a four. So one hit. You are attacking the brilliant tentacle. So uh, if attacking from the light. I'm not attacking from the shadow. You rolled a six. six. That's a crit. crit. Uh, gain one shadow tentacle sunstalker resource. Roll a d10. What's your courage? Um, eight. Damn. You want less than your courage. Oh. You would have gained an accuracy token, which would have been very nice. Uh, so you're still going to reduce the monster's life total by one and uh, discard one of his AI oh, cards. For? Shadow Tentacle. The last. There you go. Um, so the Shadow Tentacle is when you gain this during the hunt or showdown, return it to the resource deck and draw it again if any survivor are blind. You gain this during the hunt or the showdown. Return it to the resource deck. If any survivors are blind. No one's blind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is... You did the damage? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, that's the end of your turn. It's the end of all of our turns now. So it's now the monster's turn. So now I'm the monster controller. Uh, let's get that first AI card, please. So, Sunstar, Sun the monster pauses, its eyes widening to an unpleasant size. Uh, so, pick target, closest threat in field of view. So, it's going to be red. Uh, intimidate target. The target feels the gaze of the sun burning into their being. They suffer five brain damage and are knocked down. In addition, they suffer uh, sun okay. tracker damage to every location. But there's no... Ignoring armor. But there's no cards in the sun tracker, so it's okay. So I have to take a severe... You guys are not blind because you had a Drydacanthus on you when Sweet Battle happened. I rolled a four on the severe brain, brain injury. injury table. Okay, four on the severe brain injury table. Other way. Me, 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 me. Uh, flee, you are knocked down and suffer knockback equal to your movement towards the closest board edge. Gain 1d5 insanity. So you're going to gain two insanity there. Uh, so now the shade is going to go, the singular shade. So it's going to attack me. So what's the shade? Uh, two speed, six plus accuracy. I have one evasion. So seven plus. What'd they roll? 
a two. Two and a four. So I'm fine. Uh, nothing happens there. So it's the end of the monster's turns, going back to our turn now. Oh. So red is still knocked down. Uh, going to green first. Green's going to go first. You're attacking? Yeah. Okay, so you need a six plus to hit. Are you sure it's a six plus? Yep. I thought you had a natural accuracy. Uh, I cost him strength, so one Z gives me a plus one accuracy. Oh. Uh, so you rolled a 10, a 10, and a 7. So you're going to have three hits. This is where the, the hit location deck is starting to get a little thin, and just like that, uh, we're going to get some vomit kaleidoscope going on. So, trap. All survivors are doomed. A tentacle grabs the attacker. Place them in a free spot in front of the monster. Uh, each row of this zone, or I'm sorry, it... It power vomits a hot, streaky kaleidoscope of brilliant colors. So the vomit zone, each row in front of this zone ends at the first space occupied by a survivor or obstacle terrain. Oh, I see why you did that. Okay. Archive destructible terrain in the vomit zone. Survivors in the vomit zone are going to take monster level plus two, so three damage to two hit locations. So sun tracker hit locations. And you're going to gain the black blood survivor status card. So you're going to take three damage to the body and three damage to defeat. Right? It's for injury on the foot. Is it agonizing? It's a 10. You're knocked down. I'm knocked down. Uh, lost balance. The blow sends you sprawling. You're knocked down. You're going to get in the Black Blood Survivor status card. So, Josh, what's the Black Blood Survivor status card? doesn't really matter to us, but it's bad. Uh, so the Black Blood Survivor status card is your blood has changed color. While you have this, place bleeding tokens on this card. They cannot be removed. When you die, place a shade on the space you occupy. If you have more than five bleeding tokens and you don't die, then you conquer your shadow. All right, so um, place all cards in the solar track into the discard pile and rotate the sun tracker 90 degrees. That's the end of that. Uh, Twitch, you guys, I would... Like for you to stand green back up. Red back up. And then you can stand green back up? Yeah. So I'm, I'd like you guys to stand red back up, so I'm going to have you guys roll a d10 to see if you use your survival there. So three, you do use your survival, so Josh, can you please lower their survival by one? Uh, so do you want to go with red and green now? Or? Uh, you can have them go. So Twitch, I'm going to have you guys attack. You're going to use your uh, rib blade. It's going to be a four plus to hit. So... It's a one. You guys failed. You have sweet battle, though, so you can surge for free. So let's get a d10 to be rolled. And you guys rolled a two. Okay. You guys suck today. <laughs> uh, Josh, do you want to go? You want to take care of Yeah, let me, let me shoot that shade. So I'm going to roll... Uh... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the bow. So I rolled a four and an eight, so that's one hit. I need to roll a four plus to wound it. That's an eight. That's a kill. So I get plus one survival. survival. Um, my survival goes up to four, and that's going to be the end of my turn. All right. I will stand green up. Okay, so who are you attacking with? I will attack. I will surge with green. Okay, so surging with green, you're going to need to roll three d10s, and you hit on a seven plus, right? Yeah. So a seven plus, and Josh rolls a nine, a one, and a one. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. Nine, a one. So prismatic handed fin, you got one attack in. Uh, so, Josh, you need to roll a d10. You're going to wound on a 5, and you're going to crit on a 6. That's a crit. Gain one Sunshark Fin Sunstalker resource. Chunks of gore fly into the air, casting a momentary shadow. You're in darkness until the end of your attack. Uh, so you're going to get the Sunshark Fin right here. And that is... Removing the slimy hands reveals a curable viscous substance. I don't want to talk ill, but we're getting some nice stuff, you know? Uh, so that's the end of Green's turn, right? Is the Sunstalk is Sunstalker a weird fish thing? It's a shark, shark, octopus, penis. Um, it, I'm I, sorry, no, it's a shark octopus. Shark octopus, but it's a a, a, a ovipositor. Yeah. It's got eggs. It's got so eggs. how about an eggy shark octopus? Sure. <laughs> uh, all right. So red, it's your turn. Okay. Urker. Monster's got six life left. We're working it. I will dash. Dashing to the I monster. The front. Where are you going? At the Avapositor? Yeah, I guess so. Left or right of the Avapositor? Uh, I'll stay next to green. 
some of the stuff is affecting the people next to you. I mean, that's eh, whatever. I'll, that's fine. So you're in the Avapositor, though. It's normally trying to keep people in shadows and stuff. We had, like, one card that was next to us. Shut up. <laughs> so you're attacking with what? The Bone Club? Bone Club. What do you need to hit? Um, Six plus. Six plus to hit. So that's a nine and an eight. So that's two hits. So you are attacking the Brilliant Mouth and the Cosmic Silk Nipple. That one first. Stalk Nipple. Cosmic Stalk Nipple. So Josh is attacking the Cosmic Stalk Nipple. Roll a d10. That's a crit. Damn it. I know you kind of wanted the other thing to happen. I wanted right? the other thing to happen. Uh, so roll 1d10. If the result is less than or equal to your courage. More than my courage. Uh, if you are frenzied, cancel the effect and lose all positive tokens being gained. Um, so you just you just damage the monster. Okay. All right, so please reduce the monster's life total by one. And now you're attacking the Brilliant Mouth. If attacking from the light, you are attacking from the light. Suffer minus five strength when attempting to wound this location. I believe that means you're only going to be able to wound on a ten, right, Josh? Two strength, five, so seven. Minus five is two. Two. Uh, so you need an eight plus. That's not that bad. Not horrible, but not great. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's a wound. Bam. So please reduce the monster's life total by one. Granted, it wasn't the death blow, but was it? You still reduced. But... You still hurt the monster. So he's got four life now. Uh, everyone went though, right? Now everyone's gone. Unless you want to surge. I can't. Like I can surge with a bone dart. Yeah, like, kind of sucks. Doesn't... Uh, or you can surge and use a rawhide headband. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, that's not actually a bad idea. That's a 10. You don't use your survival or you regain your survival. Uh, so you're going to look at the top two cards there. Those both kind of suck, right? No one's no in the one's darkness, darkness right now. So that's not a bad one. And then he's going to do a that's basic, a basic action, action. Which isn't great. And then what's the other one do? Closest threat field of view. Uh, didn't we bring a circlet for hit location management? We did. We did. We just I haven't had, been. Using yeah, we it. haven't used it yet. Uh, we were like we were getting to the point where we were about to use it. And someone's asking about the death, death blow card. If the final hit is on the death blow card, then you, then you get those the benefits. Yeah, you trigger the death blow effect. Sorry. Five brain damage knocked down. Addition. This one actually isn't that bad. It's just going to get five brain damage and knock back. Okay. To. Whom? One of us. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, so put that one on top. Um, it's a severe brain injury? Yeah, there is no crit effect on that. Which correct, could be bad. Yeah, because we don't have the um, except darkness yet, right? You're the furthest threat? Yes, I am. So the other one will make him attack you. The... Yeah, I can't take a hit. I'll try this. Hopefully it's good. All right. So it's the monster's turn. Josh, you are the monster controller. Uh, so Sun Stare. Sun Stare is the monster pauses its eyes widening to an unpleasant size. Closest threat in field of view. So it's going to be uh, red or green. Which one do you want? Um, I'm going to pick green. How much insanity does green have? Two. They both have two. Okay. But, so it doesn't um, matter. He ignores... Um, Knockdown. Oh, okay. And uh, Red doesn't have to dash back into the spot to hit him with a club. Okay. Um. So, intimidate target. Okay. You know what we could do, actually? What? We could all dash to out of his line of sight. So he wouldn't be field of view. And then he would do shadow vibrations. Or? What shadow vibrations? Or we can surge right now. We could all surge right now. I think, I think we should all start to surge. Yeah, let's do that. Let's all surge. So let's have Screw Twitch it. first. Twitch, you guys are going to go first. Let's roll a d10. We're all surging right now. You get a free surge. It's seven. seven that's so that's a hit. You guys are attacking the impervious. Boiling My Mirage Tentacle. It is the, the prettiest card. Uh, you attack an image projected on a sheet of water. Archive any soluble gear in your gear grid. We have soluble. They do. Monster Grease. Yeah. Um, if you are in the light, they are in the light. You're going to suffer two damage, then move the monster two spaces directly away from the attacker. 
Fuck. That was bad, Josh. That was a dumb move. You're dumb. So, Twitch, you're going to take two damage to a random hit location. Five. That's... That's fine. You're going to take two damage to the head. Which they have armor, so... Cancel all hits now out of range. Um... So I'm technically out of line of sight now, right? Yes. So if Twitch, Twitch surges and moves forward, then he'll do shadow vibrations. Closest Not dash, uh, dashes and moves forward. Yeah. So, Twitch, do you guys want to? What is what is shadow vibrations? Shadow vibrations is going to be place a shade in the shadow of each survivor. If a sh survivor shadow is occupied, do not place a shade. So there will be one shade, and it'll be me. Yeah. Let's do that. Why didn't we do that in the first place? We were just going to see if we could try to kill it instead. Yeah. That, that was the goal. I know, I know. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to have Twitch. You guys are going to uh, dash forward. Let's see if you use your survival. You don't, or you regain it. You're going to move forward into the blind spot, so it's going okay. to pick target closest threat in field of view. There are no threats in the field of view because you guys are in the blind spot. The two in front of it in the field of view are knocked down, so they're not threats, and, and I'm behind, behind the, the column. column. So, he's not... so then it is now going to do shadow vibrations. So Josh, if you can please show off shadow vibrations. So shadow vibrations here is place a shade in the shadow of each survivor. Uh, so knock down survivors do not cast a shadow. And Twitch, your space is occupied by the Sunstalker. Do not down. What happened? Knock down, don't cast shadows? No, they do not cast shadows. I didn't know that. It's also on the board edge, so there's no yeah. shadow space. Uh, do not place a say shade. Um, so I'm going to get a shade uh, directly adjacent to me, and that's it. And thank you, Apache Man 10. Uh, however, now the shade is going to go. Yes. It's the end of the monster's turn. Um, so the shade's gonna attack me with two speed. Uh, I have one natural evasion, so it's gonna be what, Josh? Uh, seven plus. Seven plus, so it's a five and a nine. That is one hit. How much damage does it do? Um, it's gonna do one damage. One damage to my feet. I'm gonna take it, because I have nothing happening there, so I'm gonna take Oh, you're one. gonna get one bleed, though. That's fine. I'm gonna take the bleed token. Uh, so that's the end of the monster's turn. It is now our turn. Okay. So, Twitch, I would like it if you could stand up red. Yeah. So, I'm going to have you guys roll. What's your survival at, anyways? It's, it's only getting a two. low. But I'm going to have you guys roll a d10. And they rolled a five, so they are going to use their survival. Okay. Uh, we're doing too well. Someone pull cracks in the ground and let me roll a one. So, red is going to stand up. Uh, do you want to go now, or do you want Twitch to attack? I have Twitch attack. Okay, so Twitch, you guys are going to attack. You need a four plus to hit. It's a 10. Perfect hit. They do not They do get an insanity from the perfect hit. And uh, they're attacking the Sunshark Molar. Sunshark Molar. So we're going to need another D10 to be rolled. Uh, I would love another 10 here. A Go 1. On. That's a failure. So perform a basic action targeting the attacker. So it's going to turn around and perform a basic action. So Josh, what's the monster's base, basic action? Uh, 3 speed. Ugh. 4 plus accuracy. They are at 2 evasion now. Because they got knocked down at one point? No, because they lost the monster cruise. Oh, okay. So they have... Th no, they have, but they still have the evasion token from... Okay, so they're at still three. So three evasion. So what's the action? Uh, so it's going to be a eight. seven plus. So you guys rolled an eight. Come on. Let's get some more rolls, guys. Uh, Come on, guys. Perfect hit instead of hit. Perfect fit. Oh, perfect tit. That says tit. Yeah, it does say tit. Uh, guys, we need more d10s. That's a nine. nine. That's two hits. Oh, boy. And a seven. That's three hits. Three hits. Wow. For three damage each. Three hits for three damage each. So, guys, we're going to need three hit location dice to be rolled. Let's see where you're taking that. So, you're going to get the legs, the head, and the arms. So, what is their armor at? They've got zero with the head. They can't dodge any of it because it's reaction. Oh, that's right. They can't. But they can take the arms and legs. So they're going to have a heavy on the legs and a light on the arms and a heavy on the head. So heavy on the head, light on the legs, heavy on the legs, light on the arms. And then most importantly, we're going to need a severe injury to be rolled. Right, Josh? Yep. A severe what kind of injury? Severe head injury. Severe head injury. That's exciting. So let's roll a severe head injury. 
It's a nine. It's good. Good roll. Uh, so a nine. Shattered jaw. You drink your meat through a straw. You can no longer consume. You can no longer eat the bugs. You can't eat the bugs anymore. This injury is permanent and can be recorded once. And you are going to get a bleeding token. So I'm going to give you guys a bleeding token. They're going to lose that evasion token now. And they get knocked back 12. Yeah, they are going to lose the evasion token. So Daphne's going to get the shattered jaw. And uh, yeah, they got knocked back 12. New character. <laughs> Everyone's like, no. All right, so that is the end of the you guys used guys' attack. And they didn't wound. They didn't wound. Okay. So, Josh, what are you doing? You killed this guy. Why is he still standing here? I did? Yes. No. I thought you... A new one spawned. I thought you attacked it. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Because I, I might need to attack the monster. Okay. Uh, I will stand up green. And you are going to use your survival. So green's going to attack now, I'm assuming? Yep. Um, do you want me to check hit locations? Not yet? Not yet. I, okay. think, I think we're okay. It, we just shuffled. Okay. So what do you need to hit? Six plus? Six plus. Nine, nine, four. So two hits. Thank you, Ice Chamber. So you're attacking light bending. That one has to happen first because it's first strike. Yep. So, uh, if you are in the light, which you are, yep, uh, you're going to suffer one damage to a hit location, then move the monster directly away from the attacker. Uh, I just took a heavy hit on the body, something like that. <laughs> you suck. All right. So cancel all hits now out of range. Would you like to go with red now? I guess. So what are you going to do? I guess I'm going to dash. You're going to dash to the butt. So you don't use your survival. Or you regain it, rather. So you're attacking it in the butt. All the dice. All right. So what do you need to uh, to roll? To Five hit? plus. Five plus. So you rolled a seven and a two. So you got one hit. One hit, one kill. And you're attacking engulf in light. So this is light speed. Rotate the sundial clockwise until the attackers in the lights are rotated 90 degrees. Um, discard this card without attempting to wound. Would you like to manage the AI cards? I'm going to roll two d10s and attack this thing next to me. I uh, rolled a one and a one. Good job. I'm going to surge and attack with my founding stone. Because I can't attack with the bow again, right? Josh? Um, no. <laughs> Thanks. No. no. Can't. Um... Two and a ten. So I got a perfect hit. Uh, I need to roll a six plus to wound. It's a seven. I wound him. He's dead. Get survival back. I get my survival back. Okay, cool. That's fun. Uh, what are you doing with... Uh... Which D10 looks really shot? Oh, th this one looks like it's kind of superimposed. <laughs> All right, so uh, Josh, do you want to do anything else with Red? Um... If there's anything else, I, I guess I'll check the AIs. AIs. So you spend your survival. Down the one survival. That sucks. Dice tray would be a nice addition. Yeah, it would be. We're, we're thinking about that, actually. You're drawing a resource? That's interesting. Uh, so what are you doing? What are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing? It's going to be four damage for the Dazzling Beam, and it's undodgeable, right? Uh, no one's in darkness, right? Uh, no one is in the darkness right now. So he, this would do this, and then a basic attack. Basic attack is going to be three speed for three Throw this damage in range. But we can try the surge and kill it while it's in play. Okay, that, that's my. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. So we're attack. Uh, boiling darkness is happening now. So all survivors in the darkness suffer uh, two damage. No one's in the darkness. Not in the darkness. Rotate the sundial 90 degrees, then perform basic action. But before oh. then, we can surge and stuff. So you're standing up green? Yep. And I'm not spending my survival to do it. Okay, so green is going to attack. Do you want to check at locations? Yes. I will. I will spend a survival to check hit locations. So, 
Can you please give me the th top three hit location cards? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. So we have how many hit location? How many AI cards are active right now? One. So we need to do two damage yeah, we right need now. Need to do two damage. You are in the light, right? Currently, yes. I am in the light. Okay, yes. so I'm gonna put. Oh boy. I can get. When did that sundial turn? Uh, after the flow. So it didn't turn yet. Okay. Um. I can get into the. I can get into the darkness if I need to. Yeah, if you can get into the darkness, that would be very good. Um, I can possibly hit all those. The reaction I ignore. I can ignore one reaction. Okay. So the failure might want to go on top because I can just ignore that. The worst failure when I'm putting on top. So go, yeah, go into the darkness. Okay. And redraw them in that order. All right, so I'm going to use two survival, basically. Okay, okay. so you're going to use two survival. Go over here. Whoop around. I'm going to hit on a... Six plus. Yep. Let's roll a one, two, and a three, right? Seven, nine, five. So you're going to roll hit two times. That's all we need, all right? So you're attacking the Brilliant Tentacle and the uh, Brilliant Sun Shark Chest. So let's okay. do the Brilliant Tentacle first. So Brilliant Tentacle, you're not in the light, so you don't suffer the five strength. Ten. ten. That's a crit. Gain one Shadow Tentacle Sunstalker resource. Roll a d10. Eight. You keep rolling eights for this. I have eight courage, though. Oh, you're going to gain a plus one accuracy token. Okay. Um, what am I getting? The uh, shadow tentacle. Is there more than one? I don't know. No. You're, uh, no there's yep, there's two. One. Cool. All right, so there you go. And now you're attacking the brilliant sun shark chest. So, Joshua, you're attacking its brilliant chesticle. All right. Five plus. It's an eight. That's a crit. crit. The monster's nervous system stutters for a moment. The attacker gains one courage. I just uh, got bold. Okay, so or you just see the truth. Really, you just got to see the truth. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, okay, so see the truth. Take a brief detour here. So, and as you crit the the monster to death, this is the killing blow, mind you. Uh, you are seeing the truth. What happens in the world now? So. Uh, you're going to suffer the blind, severe head injury. Minus one accuracy. You don't have... No, I don't have Acanthus or the healing potion, right? Nope. That's unfortunate. Um, so you're going to suffer minus one accuracy, and you're going to roll a d10, Josh. Technically, it puts me at fully four bleed tokens. So... That's a nine. Sour. When your second eyelids opened, you saw thousands of small life forms swimming through the air. They crawled over you, stealing tastes of your sweat and blood. Uh, death was near. You wondered how your fear tasted. A puckering sour flavor filled your mouth, and you decided that you must never die. Gain the following ability. Sour death. When you are knocked down, you may encourage yourself up, even if you are deaf, and if you do, gain plus one strength token. That's pretty cool. So whenever you get knocked down, you keep encouraging yourself up, you keep getting plus one strength tokens. Yep. Have we fought a level two sun soccer? Yes, we have. Not in this campaign, but we have. Yeah. Uh, so I'm th pretty sure we got TPK. Yeah, it's it's Sunstalker's hard. Uh, so we killed it though. So Yay! congratulations, guys. We have killed the Sunstalker. So we all get hot XP. I just aged up. So g which age? Uh, third. So go ahead and, and second age on soon to be dead. Yay! More Christmas death and less Exelon one on a die death. I rolled a three for hopeful. For which age? For the third age. Three. Gain plus one permanent movement. Okay. It's interesting. Uh, and then for soon to be dead, second age is a seven. Soon to be dead, second age is a seven plus one permanent strength. Okay. All right. So, rewards time, guys. The first time the Sunstalker is defeated, gain the Sky Reef Sanctuary Settlement Event. And Hopeful got the final. They're asking. Yes, Hopeful. Uh, can you switch us back to our camp? Yep, sure can. So Hopeful did indeed get the final blow. Uh, all survivors who defeated one or more shades, that's all of us, yes. are going to gain plus one courage. 
Courage is just being handed out like candy right now. I just got bold. Um, so that's cool. I got stalwart then. Can't be knocked down except uh, from tra from brain trauma or intimidate actions. And uh, how about your other character? Did they get anything from the bolt from the? Uh... Uh, no, they already had bold, so they're at four courage. Okay, so I need to roll a d10. I rolled a six for the showdown phase. Gained three survival and three insanity. That's meh. So I'm at four survi four insanity, and I'm at max survival. This counts as the the showdown phase, right? Yep. Okay. So we get the Skyroof Sanctuary. Yeah, I got that. Uh, and we're going to get four basic and four Sunstalker resources and one Sunstone's strange resource. Sunstones! So these are the basics, right? Yep. So we're going to have four basics. We've got some Love Juice from the Avapositor. Uh, we got some Monster Hide. We circumcised it. Uh, we got some Monster Bone that speaks for itself. And we got some Hide. It was a very long circumcision process. So, Josh, what did we get from the other? So, we are getting um, some Sun Shark Blubber. When inflated with air, this blubber gently floats. It's a balloon. We got a brain root. So, the strands of this root are strong and elastic. The meat on top is useless. We got some cycloid scales, extremely reflective and colorful. And we got some huge sun teeth. So these tough but light teeth are made of hundreds of thin layers of bone separated by rows of dicot stems. And then, Josh, we're going to need the uh, Sunstone's Strange Resource. Sunstone's. It's a strange resource. Sunstone's. They're the stones of the sun. They're actually the Sunstalker's kidney stones. Did you know that? I do not. You learn something new every day, right? So the Sunstone's. What are the Sunstone's here? They're small and warm. Actually, they might they might be the kidney stones. All right, so that is the end of the showdown. We are running back to our settlement now. So you know what that means? We need a settlement event. We need a settlement event. So guys, we're gonna need a settlement event. So S event, seventh. Uh, let's see what you guys pull here. And as a reminder, you guys can modify these. So salt storm. Oh, this is a fan made one. This is a new one. So salt. This is interesting. Salt storm. I think of that sheet of paper. Should yep. have it. So, guys, as I was about to say, this is a fan-made settlement event. Uh, you guys can redeem points that you have from uh, watching the stream. You get points every minute that you're watching. You get points for throwing bits and cheering and tipping as well. Um, but you can use those. You can redeem those uh, in the Stream Elements store, and that's going to allow you to make new things and modify the uh, the stream. So Maelstrom made that. So Salt Storm. Salt rains constantly from the sky, making life tough while spirits are tested. Roll a d10. Uh, do we have hovel or hut? Hovel? Yes. Hut. We do hut. have hovel? Yeah. It says hovel hut. Oh. Uh, so they rolled a two. Right? Yep. So we're going to add two because of hovel. Okay. So that's a four. So best to avoid each other than turn on one another. Returning survivors can't depart with another returning survivor this year. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. So we can only send one of... Yeah, the four out. we could only send one of the four out. So this is, we're gonna have to manage that a little bit. So that was that was cool. Yeah, I like I like these. These are neat. So we have six endeavors. We have six endeavors because we got two during the hunt. Yeah. So first up, we got a lot of resources, but uh, let's let's innovate because that's you know you gotta innovate. We got a hefty stack of resources. That's. So Josh is uh, putting to the side. We just need an organ, right? You can use the love juice. Yeah, I guess I use the love juice. Okay, so we are going to innovate. So we're going to have... Uh, did Is the command set up or no? No, the command's not set up okay. right now. Uh, does the event give an endeavor? Yes, the event does have an endeavor option as well. Uh, you needed to roll a 7 plus. No, if you can spend an endeavor there to do something. Oh, 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 no, there, there's oh, nothing. oh. No, there is no endeavor option on this uh, settlement event. No, it's just the... Uh... Right, pull four. Four. Okay, so we're going to get Scrap Schmelting. Clan of Death. I just need to be able to make a baby. Storytelling. And Shrine. Ooh. Uh, only at Mattress Giant. So Josh is going to set up a poll right now for you guys. Uh, let's review what everything is. So Shrine. 
may be used once per settlement phase. This is going to have you... <laughs> Salt Storm. This is going to have you spend an endeavor in order to roll a d10. On a 1 through 3, departing survivors get plus 1 insanity. On a 4 plus, departing survivors add 1 armor to all hit locations. Uh, storytelling. storytelling is going to increase the survival limit by 1 to a max of 7. Uh, for 2 endeavors, we can roll a d10. On a 1 through 3, gain 1 understanding. On a 4 through 7, uh, all departing survivors gain 3 insanity. And on an 8 plus, we activate white speaker. Then we've got Scrap Smelting. Scrap Smelting is, uh, with an Endeavor roll a d10, 1 to 2, nothing happens. 3 through 9, 3 Scrap uh, is spent to add 1 Iron. And on a 10 plus, do that as many times as you want. As many times as you can. And then finally, we've got Clan of Death. Clan of Death is the enduring strength of your clan passes through all generations. All newborn survivors gain plus 1 accuracy, plus 1 strength, plus 1 evasion. So that means all newborn survivors are going to be born with 2 strength, 2 evasion, and 1 accuracy, which is ridiculous. Yeah. It's just a matter of making babies. You can try. You don't have to try so hard. Just do we have a lot of scrap? No, we do not. No. We have at least one, but I think we have like maybe two. Yeah, we don't have like any scrap. So it's it's a runaway, Josh. Uh, it's Clan of Death. I figured it would be. It's good. Uh, it's we really good. used the love juice just now to innovate. Oh, we have one more love juice. Yeah. Zombie babies. Hello, Tongue Punch. Tongue Punch fought Boxing Ham. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the zombies cannot make babies. That does not make non -can non canonical. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to add that in. I was gonna say salt zombies can't be cured by getting salt, and we could have got salt from the salt scavengers, but we you didn't, didn't add it in though. I, you didn't add it in. I can add it in still. Uh, tries to summon TP with babies. All right. We have five endeavors left. Five endeavors. So, um, what do you want to make with those five endeavors? Do you want to make some babies? I think that should be what we're trying. Oh, we do have a matchmaker. Daphne is a matchmaker. Daftaru. Um, Daftaru could die if she tries that babies, though. I'm just... No, it's just spend an endeavor to trigger the intimacy story event. Oh, she doesn't have to be part of it. Right, it does so not we'll say. we'll send Fantasia with... Who's Fantasia? Because Fantasia's Fantasia's are... Fantasia is... Our broken back. Is the broken back, that's true. All they can do is make babies. They're a female. Fantasia's a female. Uh, what male are we going to send? Um, so we've got... Do we want to send someone with a lifetime reroll? That's the other question. We can use lifetime rerolls. The whole settlement is there. Cheering on. <laughs> we really don't have very, very many survivors. No, we don't. Um, I'm going to say SpongeBob because SpongeBob yeah. can't crit. Okay. So and I don't care if they die. Okay. So SpongeBob and Fantasia... Are gonna have a baby. We're gonna attempt to make a baby. So we're gonna move to the intimacy story event. So we are triggering the matchmaker. So this is one of our endeavors, right? Yes. So intimacy. We're gonna need two d tens to be rolled, and we have to pick the lower of the two results. So, guys, roll well. That's a three, and a six. The female survivor perishes with her child during birth. The settlement is cast in gloom. The male survivor mourns, gaining a random disorder and three insanity. <laughs> Do we want to... I would say yes, let's use a reroll. Um, who has a reroll? I don't. One of the other survivors left has... Yeah. Um, the Dung Ball Wizard. The Dung Ball Wizard. Okay. Yeah. Dung Ball Wizard, let's roll one more d10. An 8. So, so the lowest was the 6. So the six is a new survivor is brought kicking and screaming into the world. The child's eyes are free of the ink that stained the founder's faces. The settlement gains plus one population. Um, all right, let's see what the... I'm going to skip a couple names on the list. Okay. Only because I need a... We need another female. Yeah. So we definitely need a female in the settlement. Uh, I don't have any blank character sheets here, Josh. So we'll, well, I'll make a new one between the sessions. Okay. Uh, so, what is going to be the name? Next and female. I hear something shuffling around in the kitchen. I don't know if it's Dramatic hears me, pause. Dramatic pause. P A W S. P A U S E. Okay. So, dramatic pause is going to be a female. Dramatic pause is going to have one accuracy, two strength, and two evasion. That's pretty solid right there. Uh, so that's we use two of our six endeavors. Do we want to? Uh, Tried to make some more with uh, augury. Um, I do have a love juice. Let's though. use a love juice. 
I think we should try to make it. Okay. If someone dies here, that's fine. We could let them die. What's the backlogs on names? It's... Uh, it's fairly beefy. It's fairly beefy. Especially since we're we don't have a... Uh, we're doing Survival of the Fittest, so we haven't been... Yeah, making cranking baby. babies out. Crank it, ew, cranking babies out. Uh, all right, so we're gonna use the love juice. That's still an endeavor, right? No, that's no, no endeavor. It's, it's a freebie. Uh, so we're gonna need two more d10s to be rolled, right, Josh? Yep. Okay, so two more d10s, please, guys, roll well. Uh, it's a four and an eight. So a four, a newborn survivor is brought kicking and screaming into this world. So we get one more baby. I'm gonna say one more female because we are really yeah we're really low really low on females. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do another baby. No, a four is actually okay as long as you roll a, a four plus, then we make babies. Yes. Just... So uh, so the next one is Rakasha R A K S H A R A K S H A S A. Rak I can't point to it. Rakshasa. 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 Okay, so Rakshasa is going to have two in, two evasion, two strength, and one accuracy. All right. So here's the thing. We can't send our oldies. We have two new characters. We have two are... new characters that we could take out. We have four endeavors left. We can age both of them up to the first age, send them out. They're better than the existing guys that we have. I think that's probably the best bet. That's... It's not a bad bet. Who would we send with them? Uh, probably Daftaru. Daftaru's really good. And then one of your... We can't take one of your guys, so then it would just be a rando. Do you want to take Daftaru, or do we want to take Hopeful? Up to you. Either one of the two. <sighs> I wish I could have cure Hopeful's hamstrung. Well, if you have a bet, I think that does cure hamstrung, no? We don't have it yet. We don't have it yet. But yeah, now. I'm just curious if it does turn up. Curious, curious. No, it does not cure. It I'm doesn't. Sure. Okay, so we could. Oh, hopeful. For, yeah, hopeful for crit farming. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Um, sadly, like the abilities and stuff don't activate. Uh, but it would also give her uh, guitar mastery. Ooh, nice. Which would be for the settlement, and that's that's in. Yeah. So yeah, probably hope. Well, wait. The next one's gonna be Nemesis Encounter. Yes. Since uh, Slenderman, you can crit still. So. Oh, that's right. He does have crit locations. Yeah, he has crit locations, and he's actually he's, he's decent to resource farm. So we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, so we have. So do let's you... age up the two survivors. Okay, we're gonna. So age let's up... have Twitch roll some d10s for them. Okay, so you got to make a note of this because I don't have the uh, okay. actual character sheets. So two d10s. They rolled a three and a. Eight, so that's an eleven sure for that's a age art. one. I am pretty sure it's a fighting art. It is a random fighting art. So guys, we're gonna need a random fighting art to be pulled. Uh, for this is gonna be for the first one. Who's the first one? Um, dramatic pause. Unconscious fighter takes seven bleeding tokens to kill you. That's interesting. Because that we might be able to game that and get them that black blood thing with yeah. the sunstalker. Uh, that's a good one. We can make bandages now. We have hide. We just haven't. Yeah. Them. And then next, we're going to need another 2d10 to be rolled. And this is going to be for Rakshasa. 10. And an, and an 8. 18. So that's 18. That's 18 has gained plus one permanent accuracy. So Rakshasa has two accuracy, two strength, and two evasion. Rakshasa is going to be the new bow person. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, that's all of our endeavors this time. Uh, we're not going to do the second showdown. Uh, we're going to save that for the next episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Yep. Is there anything else that you want to do this evening, Josh? We've got a pile of resources. I don't even know what to do with them. I don't even know what we can make. So, so we'll, I need to yeah, we're get gonna, it offline. we got to sort through it. Uh, but, guys, uh, thank you all for joining us this evening. Please make sure to follow us on – you changed up the location of all everything here – Follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us on our Discord channel where... The party never stops. There you go. Uh, as a reminder, you guys saw one of the custom settlement events that uh, we had pulled, but if you guys want, you can create your own stuff to add to the campaign. Disorders, fighting arts, 
uh, settlement events, Hot events, a lot of stuff, and you can do that by redeeming your points that you're getting from watching, tipping, throwing bits, all the fun stuff. So check that out. Your way to customize the game a little bit. Uh, as a reminder, we are doing the sub drive right now, so we are pushing for as many subs as humanly possible for us. Uh, we're trying to uh, we're incentivizing that by doing major giveaways at all of the. Uh, major milestones. So at 200 subs, which we are 19 subs away, so we're getting really close, guys. We're going to be giving away a custom, one-of-a-kind 3D print uh, Halloween white speaker. This was printed uh, at the Kingdom Death facility, and it spent a lot of time in Adam's hands. Uh, it was signed by Adam as well, so that's item for 200 giveaways. At 300 subs, we're going to be doing the oversized, one-of-a-kind 3D print of the Nightmare Ram Skull. This thing's really big as well. Uh, this is a solid piece. Said. Yeah, <laughs> is a one of a kind. Also, this was also from the KDM facilities. is one of their test pieces that they did. Uh, we have an undisclosed mystery giveaway at 400 subscribers, and then finally, when we get to 500 subscribers, we have the super duper awesome oversized uh, Black Knight bust. This is 3D printed. It's big. It covers up Josh's face. It's about the size of a head of cauliflower. Why are you doing? Oh. And also, it's signed by Adam Poots I on mean... the bottom as well. It's bigger than the Sunstalker. Sunstalker? Yeah, so it's 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 beefy. Uh, so guys, that's the, for the 500 subs. And remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, and that means you get one free sub every month. We'd love it if you used it on us. And throughout this month into January they 6th... They want to see it on the board cam. Uh, through January 6th, I believe, uh, Twitch is doing 20% off of new subs, and that includes gift subs as well. So, guys, if you could please take a look at that, it would, we would greatly appreciate it. That's the the Twilight bust or the Black Knight bust right there. Uh, really awesome. So we're really excited about that. And then uh, every 25 subs that we get intermediary between the major giveaway goals, so 225, 250, 275, and onward, uh, we're going to be doing mini giveaways as well. And those will transition between sub-only giveaways and then uh, regular viewer giveaways. But as a reminder, uh, if you're a subscriber, you get extra entries to all of the giveaways. If you're and a higher tier, you even get more entries. You get even more if you're a higher tier as well. So remember about that. Um, what else, Josh? Uh, we got that going on. What's happening tomorrow, man? Tomorrow night, we've got the Great Game Hunters podcast where we talk about the ins and outs of Kingdom Death and all of the super cool things that you can do strategy-wise within the game. Uh, but we've also got a special event, so let's let's get to that beautiful bean footage of that promo. Ladies and gentlemen, this Friday at 8 p.m. after the Great Game Hunters podcast, join us for what is being hailed as the greatest event in the history of mankind. For the heavyweight championship of the world. On one side, we have Josh Ghosthorn Perry against Matt Saltman. In the thriller made with vanilla. So, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to crumble! All right, guys, we are back. Team Ghost Horn for life. Uh, so you can show your support to me. Uh, but we're doing a shirt sale right now. Uh, you could you could be Team Salt Lord. Or Team Ghost Horn. Is Team Ghost Horn set up? Yeah, they're both set up now. No, but you should there. only get the Team Salt Lord, because that's the that's team right in there. I, I actually ordered my shirt. I should hopefully be here Did tomorrow. you really? Yes. I hate you so much. Um, though then, like, Twitch, like, right after I order it, like, a couple hours later, like, oh, I'm going to order a shirt. It's like, oh, it won't be delivered after Christmas now. With Prime. It's just like, why? But So... All right, so, uh, and as a reminder, guys, I see a couple people saying if they win, they want to have Fen paint the Black Knight bust. If you don't know who Fen is, shame on you. He's fantastic. He's phenomenal. He's Fen. Uh, all of the minis that you saw that we have painted on our stream right now, and I'll go back to the board cam so you could double double see it, double check. Uh, so, like, the Sunstalker, the minis there, the uh, Survivor minis, those were painted by Fen. He does awesome work, and he, 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 uh, he does commission requests as well. He's got a Patreon. You can support him with that, and he's also the brilliant mind behind uh, all of the weird knowledge of the Grave Game Hunters podcast. Uh, so, definitely go check him out. He is awesome, and does, obviously, the painting is really good. Honestly, the cameras don't even do it justice. It looks better in person. 
Uh, Zoom in on that Sunstalker's mouth. Don't tell me what to do. Zoom in on his nipples. I have nipples, Greg. Can you book me? You focus, camera? Bam. It's got a lot of nipple to focus on. It, he's got some gingivitis. His camera zooms in a lot. His teeth are gross. <laughs> a little, there we go. There you go. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey. What's up, guys? Hey, guess what? No. Oh, storm. It's the well and smoke. It's It came back. <sighs> I need that dong, 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 dong. There's the, there's the penis. All right, so, That's guys, stupid. thank you for joining us this evening. Please join us for our upcoming streams tomorrow. We've got, at Friday, uh, the uh, 5, 5 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to be doing the Great Game Hunters podcast, uh, and we're going to be talking about the Manhunter. Afterwards, we have the Thrilla made with vanilla. Uh, that's going to be at about 8 p.m. Yeah, so, like, Great Game Hunters probably end around 6.37. Matt has to drive over here. Yeah. Get set up for it. Yeah. And then uh, Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, we're doing a spotlight session. Getting yep. back to the spotlight. Super excited about that. Uh, for Slugfest Games, uh, the Red Dragon Inn. Six, six villains. villains. And then Sam from over there is going to join us. Oh, fantastic. Uh, you, you... I, that's who I played with yeah. uh, at uh, PAX, PAX Unplugged. Unplugged. Um, so we have that. Uh, we have some stuff coming up for next month. Um, we just finished working with USAopoly, and we're going to be showing off a ton of their games yeah, this year. We're really like, excited about that. USAopoly is going to be gonna providing us with, uh, I believe... Their whole lineup for the year, I believe? Ten not, of the ten games, for ten, sure. Ten games for the year. I, I don't know if it's their whole lineup, but I heard some cool titles that I don't think I can talk about yet because they're not released. Hash, hashtag spoilers. Hashtag spoilers. It should be cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, and then join us on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time for our continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. So and then join us Thursday because it's double death. Double death all month long. So, Josh, is there anything else that you want to say this evening? Shirts, subs. Tell your friends. Tell your wife. Tell your significant other. Tell your children. Tell your great aunt Louisa that they should sub. How, you guys will have to turn, turn, tune in tomorrow for what will happen. Yeah, the, the, no, I think they were saying for um, USAopoly possibly because I know that they have some Harry Potter stuff as well. They do. It's all new stuff. I don't know what. I We showed that off from Gen Con. Yes, I, I think that's out though. Yeah. So this is going to be all new releases. Oh, all, all brand new releases. All brand new yeah. releases. Not, no, not nothing. Already out. Already out. So. All right. So thank you all for joining us this evening. This has been another fantastic Twist Gaming presentation. We're excited to see you all again. Uh, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Good night, everybody. Good night. And someone's asking what the great game hunter tomorrow is. Is a man hunter. Yes. Yes. Right. Bye. Bye.